Give me an influencer oh you would God. date. Tell me. Jacob Sartorius. Oh my God, isn't he like to wow? Welcome back to the Just Trish podcast. Today, my guest goes by one name and one name only, TikTok superstar <laughs> sensation, Kayla. Hey. Oh my God, what an intro. I'm like, gonna cry. I'm so excited. I'm sitting like you, Moses. Does this look weird if I'm trying to sit like her? <laughs> it's okay. I tried to match the energy. I wanted to go freckles today. Oh my I, God. I was like trying to be, because I was like, originally I was like, oh, you dress up as other people. Like you do makeup as other people. Yeah. So I was like, let's glam to look like me. But I was like, I should look like you. And then I got scared. And then I was like, I don't know how to do the freckles. I don't know. The septum ring. I wanted, I had a fake one and I was too scared to wear it. Oh my gosh. I would yeah. have cried. The, really? The freckles and the piercings are definitely a very scary iconic. thing to do. Yeah. yeah. But it's so you. It's iconically you. No. Yeah, it makes you. you like you stand out that way. You know what I mean? That's yeah. like, okay. So freckles are not real. Not at all. None of them. Not at all. I used to do henna freckles and they would stain my skin. So that was like kind of good, but it literally looked like a, um, what is it called? Skid mark. Oh. <laughs> like, <laughs> like your underwear skid mark? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was trying to think, is this a new term? Oh my God. Yeah. You had a lot because I went back to your like really old yeah. TikToks and they were like all over. Yeah. And everybody would tell me, they're like, you're going to look back at this and regret it. And I was like, no, I'm not. And I look back and I'm like, do you? Mm. What was that? Kind of everything. It makes you stand out, though. Like, when I look back, I'm like, wow, that is, like, when I'm scrolling, I'd be like, oh, who is this person, you know? <laughs> I feel like I've had so many different eras. Like, I don't recognize myself from three months ago at all. That's wild. At 18, how many eras have you had? <laughs> oh, my God. Emo. <laughs> I, emo. I love that. It was fun. I had a green and black mullet, which oh was like, yeah. I didn't see that one. I saw your pink hair. I didn't see the green and black mullet. Yeah, we had a mullet. Then we had, wow. uh, not green, orange hair. And I was, like, trying to live, like, my little ginger era. Okay. And then I went blonde, so I was like, this is me. Blonde is so you. I love blonde. I'm oh very God. partial to I just blonde. love being, like, a blonde bitch. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Like, me it's, too. like, my vibe. Especially this blonde that you are right now. I miss that so much. Oh, God. I used to be this no. blonde for so long. It was so nice. But my hair started falling out, so I was just like, okay, Literally let me. me. I had to get extensions because yeah. my hair's fried off. I know. It's the worst. But also, it's, like, so great. Like, I love when people stick with that blonde. I'm like, stick with it for as long as you uh, can. I'm going to try. And then, like, maybe one day I'll go brunette. But, uh, like, I yeah. don't know. Are you naturally brunette? Yeah. Because you have a twin sister. She's and she's brunette. So is yeah. it like, did you want to be different? You're like, let me just be different and blonde? Or is Honestly, it just. Honestly, yeah. But yeah. like, even without hair, like, we look so different. Like, yeah. Nothing about us is the same. I was shook. I was yeah. like, wait, are your sister's friends? Like, we're twins. I was like, wow. Literally, people think like, the like we're not related at all. Yeah, like, I wouldn't know. I would have no idea. Yeah. So what inspired the blonde and the freckles? So go with the freckles first. Why okay. the freckles? Oh my gosh, I think it was in my emo phase uh -huh. because I would do the most like dramatic nose contour where it literally looked like somebody took paint and just like <laughs> smeared it all over my nose. And then like I started to get into like the beach vibes, like beach girl, oh, like the yeah. little fox freckle. And I was like, let me try it. Mm -hmm. And then I did. And I was like, let's add more and more and more and you more and more. just went overboard with that. I love yeah. it. Because I remember when they were like a thing and I used to do them too. I used to do like the, and they would yeah. be like sun kiss, like bronzer. So you yes. look like you were like in the sun. The mm -hmm. freckle, so you're just like, oh, I just like this look. <laughs> it's totally fine. <laughs> What's the alarm, alarm for? I thought I just turned it off. Oh, oh my god! Too personal. I should ask people's alarm. No, this people one. Are <laughs> me being like, "What's that for?" <laughs> <laughs> no, it's for German class. Oh, are you in it? <laughs> Two years ago, I was, and I never shut off the alarm. Oh it goes god. off every day at twelve fifty. <laughs> Can I hear some German? Oh, I could sing you "Happy Birthday" in oh German. Oh my god, please! Okay. I love when people sing. <laughs> By the way, no one ever wants to sing in my podcast, oh my and god. I gotta get everyone to sing. I'll belt it out okay, right okay, now. Go. <clears throat> Zoom Gaboards Tag View Gluck. Zoom Gaboards Tag View Gluck. Zoom Gaboards Tag Leap Trisha. Zoom Gaboards Tag View Gluck. Is it guten tag? Is that thank you? What's thank you? Donka. Oh, oh Donka. my God, you're right. Yeah. Right? And then, I don't know. Um, off Wieder Zane is goodbye. Oh, yeah, I know that from Sound of Music. Oh my yeah. God. I, are you German? I took German. I, but maybe, you're not German. I might be German. Oh, you never I think I'm Polish. <laughs> Well, you are from Illinois. I feel like a lot of Polish people live oh in my Illinois. God, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I am because we'd always yeah. make pierogies on like Thanksgiving. Isn't that oh, Polish? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Maybe you are. But your last name is, Ma how do you say it? Malik? Malik, yeah. Like Rami Malik. <gasps> like do you Zane know who that Malik? Is? I know Zayn Malik. Oh. <laughs> this is the generational gap we are talking about. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Z it's Zane Malik is from One Direction. <gasps> yes. Okay, because I yeah. don't really know. I don't know these people that well, but See, okay. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of them, but everybody was like, are you related to Zane? And I was like, 
I guess. Oh, no. of the last name, but the spelling's <laughs> yeah, different. M A L I K, I think. And your E C. E C, yeah. Not double C, not E C C. Yeah, no, th- my username was taken with the one C, oh, so okay. I was like, let's add the two. <laughs> so I'm like, it's whatever. Oh my gosh. Okay, love it. So the freckles were from just the trend. What about the blonde? Were you inspired? Because it sounds like you are into like emo music and not into One Direction, so it sounds like right. you're a little like aged up a little bit from like your taste in pop culture. Honestly, the blonde, I would say it really just came from like wanting oh this might get a little deep oh. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to feel like comfortable like not really stick out as much you know oh. what I mean so it was like I wanted to kind of be basic so then the nose rings and the freckles were like my own like twist on like not just like completely blending in with the crowd I was gonna say this is very not basic <laughs> you're the opposite <laughs> of basic I feel like a basic girl <laughs> what yes oh my, I would say you're the complete opposite oh. like tiktok and I mean that in the best way no, I love it because tiktok it. is full of just like girls that all like try to look like each other and do right. the same thing and you like could like if you didn't have the freckles and things like you yeah. wouldn't look like you know just every other influencer out there but I yeah. like that you look not basic thank you I but really I try it. That's, yeah. yeah the blonde was just like my own like comfort and also I love Tana Mojo so oh, okay okay I was gonna ask you about that I do too I'm like obsessed oh with Tana she's just the best I met her um she I forgot how we met but I went her to her Tana Ween party I was this year yeah oh my I was gosh. gagged I literally Cried. Did you like, meet her for the first time there? I met her for the first time at a White Fox event. Okay. Because I met her friend Stassi and Lila, like, yeah. through, like, social media, and then we met up, and then uh, Tana wanted to do a video together, but, like, no. Tana's a very busy person, like, so as, busy. as she should be, like, yeah. literal businesswoman. Yeah. So we ended up going to this White Fox event. Lila drags me to her section, and <sighs> Tana just, like, sits me down, and she's like, you know, I know it's scary being 18 in Hollywood, like, Aww. and we just, like, had the best conversation. You guys are very the same coded. Like, oh you're God. very much the same. I yeah. very much, like, look up to her in a lot of ways. Like, oh. I love Tana. Oh, I love that so much. No, everyone does. I am, you're, like, what, seven years younger. I'm 10 years older, and everyone, like, loves Tana. Everyone Everybody. just, like, like, older, younger, everyone, like, loves her, which I think is, like, so cool, and I love that you, like, give her credit for that, because she's oh, just such, sure. like, a pioneer, and she's so, like, I don't know, just, like, inspiring, and to me, right. too, I'm older than her, and I'm still always, like, girl, like, you really are, like, you said, good businesswoman, kind of, like, fearless, does her own thing, survived right. so much, it's, like, actually amazing, and to see her now, like, just be absolutely right. thriving is crazy. I mean, and you and Tana both, like, mm-hmm. I will say this, you and Tana, I feel, like, literally created the internet, <laughs> like, create, you guys did. I'll take it, I'll, like, <laughs> I can just piggyback with Tana any chance I get because she is, is an icon and I'm like, any comparison I have with her, I appreciate. No, yeah, I see you in her comments all the time and I'm like, yeah, like, I love it so much. I hype her up so much. I've known her for literally so long and it was just this year recently, like we really started like getting closer and I'm like, oh, oh. she's so smart because she was always so young and like, right. like you, you're 18 and you know, when you're like 18, you're just like, okay, what do I have in common? But mm-hmm. now that I'm like older and I was also 18 in Hollywood, it's like, you do have that sort of like, all right, advice in some way, even if you don't want it because you have totally your head on your shoulders, but I don't <sighs> 18 I was like wild and crazy <laughs> and not in a good way but you're very smart you're very driven Thank you. I mean how oh wait back to the Tana thing real quick okay, so yeah. you met sorry I'm like all over the place me right too. now no me too <laughs> right away when uh Kayla came in literally it was just like talking non-stop and most always like just <laughs> sit and like wait because it was like one thing after the other mm-hmm. so you went to the Tana Ween party yeah and how did that go it went so good like here's the thing because when I see online people talking about influencers they're always like they're bitches and they're rude and blah 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 every single person was so nice to me I felt so welcome like it was like me and Emma which is my friend um we got back from that party at 3 a.m., got out of the Uber, and laid in the middle of the road for two hours just crying because Aww. we were so happy. Like, oh, you guys, and you guys are so sweet because she's here too. And yeah. I'm just like, you guys are very like down to earth and sweet, which I love because not all influencers are like that, especially at 18 when you have a lot of fame and a lot of money at a young age. That's when you can be a little more whatever. You guys yeah. are like so sweet. You're so oh my like God, humbled. Yeah. I, it's just like, I never want to, like, make anybody feel some type of way. You know what yeah. I mean? Just like, oh, I have all these followers. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, so that's what I thought it would be at Tanoween. But, I mean, it was unreal. And it was the biggest house I've ever seen in my really? life. Oh, my gosh. I should have gone. We should have gone. I was like, she we invited were, us. Like, and I was like, Trisha? <laughs> I really actually wanted to just because she has been such a good friend and I was like I really want to but she's like no it's gonna be like just like so many people and it I get a little was really I get busy. overwhelmed with that many oh yeah they had like a, a mermaid in the pool like swimming around like hired oh and I was like God. let that be my job that's <laughs> Seriously, how do they get those jobs? Like mermaids. I think that's everything. At someone's house, nonetheless. Literally, it's crazy. especially tan emoji yeah. emojis. Tan emojis. <laughs> Halloween party. That's like how what? iconic she is. She has the most difficult last name, and everyone knows how to say it now. Right. Like, t- tan emoji. Because people would be like mongoose, but everyone knows. They're like, no, it's tan emoji. Right. That's one thing I think about is like people who have famous names. Like, yeah. Like Trisha Paytas is a famous name. <gasps> you I said feel. it right, but see, people don't say my name right. Like they say Tana's. You said it perfect. Paytas? Yeah. yeah, Trisha <gasps> Paytas. That was so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. No, I love it. Who else did you see? Because when I when we talked about doing this interview 
you're mm. like, I'm an open book. I'll say oh, I am. First of all, I love that. I was like, oh, I am. spell the tea, girl. <laughs> I have stories, Trisha, that That's I've been waiting said. to tell. I was like, okay, because I see you on TikTok and I just see you as like this popular icky who collabs with everybody on TikTok, mm-hmm. which we'll get to. But I didn't know the story. So who else did you see at the party? Was there any influencers that you're like, oh, I love them or any influencers? Like, oh, don't talk to them. At this party... I don't think there was a lot that I didn't like at other places there were. Really? But everybody here was nice. I know, um, oh my gosh, I can't remember her name. She has like a bunch of parrots and stuff. <laughs> An influencer? Do you know who that is? I have no idea. Tara. Tara, I saw her and we've been mutuals oh, for a while. So I got to, oh. I thought that was nice to see her. Amari, Ashley. Oh, yeah. Like all of her friend group. Mm-hmm. It was really nice to see. Um, a lot of people. It was okay. really awesome. So all the moons you like. A lot of TikTok people too. Yeah, a lot like. of, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. That sounds that so, so fun. fun. Okay, so yeah. that was a Tana Ween. So you yeah. come out here like once a month. Yeah, sometimes too. I'm always in LA. Like constantly, I think. We started this series about three months ago and I've been to LA like six or seven times. That's so great. So tell us, okay, tell me about this series. Like how did this all start? Okay, so it all started when I was just doing my makeup and everybody was like, you look ridiculous, basically. And so instead of sitting there and like being sad about like, oh, people think I'm ugly and they hate the way I do my makeup. I was like, how do I capitalize on this and like make this a series? So I started to like fix the things that people hated, but like fixing them in the wrong way, like fix your eyebrows. So I'd be like, oh, I'm going to dye them pink to fix them. Oh my God. And like kind of just like riling them up. And so (laughs) So you're like a little troll a little bit. Literally. In a cute way. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. I was like, I just kind of want to troll some people. (laughs) And so then I started to get to the end of the series and I was like, I really want to go out with a bang and have somebody do my makeup for the series. So I was going to go to like Sephora or and have somebody do my makeup and that just be it and then I got a dm and they were like I'll do your makeup and I was like I'll be in LA tomorrow I bought my plane ticket that night I spent like two thousand dollars just like booked it went straight to LA filmed the first series or part of the glow up series and it got like a hundred million views I've never in my life had any type of videos do that well a hundred million my tiktok that week had 200 million views in total that like, is crazy. I was sitting there like, what? I was getting hundreds of thousands of followers a day, and I was like, what is going on? So my first mindset, like first thought, I was like, what's next? Wow. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's yeah. amazing. So you're just like, okay, what? How can we keep this going? Yeah. So then I was like, makeup, hair. Brad Mondo does hair. Hit up Brad Mondo. He responded, flew to New York, and like just kept going. Wow. Yeah, that's the one I had seen too. And so that's that is wild. A hundred million. I mean, that's not even like no TV show gets that. Like no movies get like, that. Like that's the Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, literally, probably more than the Super Bowl. Yeah. That's insane. It was the most like insane thing I've How ever experienced. How old were you? Um, this eighteen. Yeah, it was like three months ago. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, so the series with all the TikTokers, all the collaborations you've been doing for the Glow Up, mm-hmm. it's just been the past three months. Yeah, it started like in August, I think. Oh <laughs> my god! Yeah, yeah, that is wild. Okay, yeah. so every time you come out to LA, do you collab with like a makeup person? Yes, I try to. Some people are really. This is like some tea. Okay, some people tea. like, yeah, I'll <laughs> we spill can add some. anything too if you want later on. If you're like, I don't want to say that. Oh, I'll so keep you can it say in. everything. Okay. <laughs> you're Tana Coded. Oh, you're yeah. like, I don't care. <laughs> so, you know, I fly out a lot. And when I fly out, it's never me going to LA to like party or like sightsee. I'm here to work. I'm here for a week. I have five collabs a day. Like, let's go. Wow. And I'll do that like the whole time. And so this was right after the New York trip. And I was like on my high. Like, I have never felt this like insane and like proud of myself in my life and so I'm walking the streets of New York and I check my phone and I got a DM from somebody who wasn't even an influencer like they're a celebrity like a celebrity and this was right when the series started so I'm over here like freaking out and they DM'd me asking to do my makeup I never messaged them nothing so they asked me okay I'm freaking out I'm DMing them and then they make a TikTok they make a video I didn't make one they made one being like come to LA I'm gonna do your makeup blah 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 I'm like, let's do it. Their video got like 10 million views too, just saying that they wanted to do it. And this is like mainstream celebrity or is it like a YouTube influencer celebrity? Definitely mainstream. But not a makeup. They don't, they're not known for makeup. Kind of. Okay. They're like very much celebrity though. And so I literally booked a plane ticket for LA. I spent like, once again, $2,000. I had like barely any other collabs lined up because this was going to be like the main one. I fly down here, I'm on the plane and I'm texting them and I'm like, hey, on my way to LA, no response. I'm like, okay, no no big deal. I DM them again and again, and they leave my messages on red, and they don't respond. Like, is this me? <laughs> I feel like I've 
definitely done it. It's not like, oh, no, it. yeah. So no, that's crazy. They literally ignored me. And to this day, like, they'll still get comments on their videos being like, when are you going to do Kayla's makeup? And I'm like, and I'll, I'll DM them every time I come back to LA, like, hey, girly. Like, we what? They just ghosted me, left all my messages on red, like, flew out here for we, them. Yeah. What? And they made a TikTok about it, like, wanting mm-hmm. to do your makeup. Mm-hmm. And people still comment. Did you? And you never called them out, obviously. You never said anything. They're way too famous, and I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Yeah. Like, that's ghosted wild, me. wild, actually. I, a part that would have been everything. I know. And uh. I was, like, thinking, because, like, if it immediately went from, like, like influencers to a celebrity, I feel like it would have just, like, taken off in a completely different way. Yeah. Which I'm not mad the way it took off, but I'm like, what could it have uh, been, you know? It still could be. It still could be, even yeah. if it's not with her. Like, it could right. be with someone else. That's huge. Yeah, I was, uh. like, freaking out. And I'm just like, you know, they're young, so maybe that's why. Yeah. But are they, I'm like... Are you the same major? They're a year younger. Oh, okay. So they're yeah, 17, yeah, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. So they're just like, nah, that makes sense. Especially now, too. They're, like, so Yeah, I'm popular. like, no shade. Oh, yeah. my gosh. And I was so upset. They weren't You're even so going to make a TikTok. They were going to make a YouTube YouTube video like wow. that's like oh well that's like a very much happen I think I think it could do I'm gonna keep DMing them <laughs> that's so funny though I mean she that person is huge and she's very big and I love her too but yeah I think the people you clapped with are more massive yeah, you know like yeah, all yeah, the yeah. influencers like Meredith like oh I, to me she's top tier she was like unreal to collab with and like our videos also did so good and when yeah. I say like I was so scared because a lot of pretty girls are like really mean you know what I mean like they're judgmental so I'm going there and I'm like I'm like walking to her little New York penthouse like (gasps) and she's like an actual like model for like Mew Mew and my god (laughs) literally and I pull up and she's like oh my god like sweetest person I've ever met like so sweet so humble so down to earth and I'm like there's and she her- just greeted you herself? Oh, yeah. I love like, that. she was so sweet. I'm like, there's a Hermes blanket, and you're just so yeah. humble. Like, <laughs> so bougie. So, so bougie. She's oh, so my gosh. bougie. She has such a, like, rich name, though. Uh, like, Meredith, Meredith Duxbury. Yeah. Is that like, how you say it? I don't know. I think so. Do, yeah. I don't know if it's silent. The X sometimes are silent. Duxbury. It's very bougie. <laughs> Literally, I love her so much. And she doesn't collab with people, like, ever. Ever. I so felt that's why so I was like, honored. how did that happen? Did you, like, will you DM these people, or do they DM you? So, I actually have a little secret okay tell, uh, tell me so, I would like to know <laughs> the way that I get collabs is I will go live and I have a lot of people join my live so like sometimes like 12,000 people <laughs> that's <laughs> Which is wild scary. I go in for like a 64 people that's <laughs> cr- out of the 12,000 yeah there was one time I had like 35,000 people and I was like uh what? yeah so are you doing your makeup on the live I just talk <laughs> that's what's wild about you because you're not really like an imp- like you're not a beauty you are I guess now but you I don't do beauty I yeah. guess lifestyle I mean you are very tan I was story time to yeah. that yeah so you're just like in your own category yeah I don't even know what I am <laughs> I love that that's the best that's what I'm saying that's why you're so unique okay oh so God, you'll go you. on live yeah. 12,000 people <laughs> yeah and I will have somebody in mind that I want to collab with uh-huh. and I'll be like I need everybody to go on this person's account and spam on their most recent video collab with Kayla oh my god and that's it, so smart it worked with um, Meredith and oh, that's wow. how she saw me and she literally messaged me right after my live and she was like oh my god people are freaking out and I was like oh my god I wonder why <laughs> You're like, I have no idea. Literally. That's cool. Okay, yeah, I guess if you want to. Yeah, and then when we met up, I was like, yeah, so I went live, and that's why that happened. But that's, but that's still so impactful. Like, very yeah. few people can go live and have people, like, spam, like, collab with this person. I literally call them my soldiers. I'm like, go retreat I soldiers. I love like. that. There's so... What is your soldiers? Like, what are the what are the ages, you think? Like, is it mostly females? Are they young? It's definitely mostly females, mm-hmm. for sure. And then it's so weird because I've had girls who are six and then girls who are, like, 26 come up to me. What? Six? Yeah, like oh my young. God. Before I started the Glow Up series, I definitely had like a very, very young audience. Like nobody my age watched me. Interesting. But now it's like people my age come up to me and I'm like, oh, hey, like yeah. I'm scared a little bit. Like, no, I love you. I love it because the Glow Up series is so interesting. And I love that you like adapt to like their style of makeup. Like you did Michaela. Yeah. You did, all, like it just like very much like their looks. Like, it is things. literally the funnest thing ever. And just to meet all these people and then like go home and just cry about yeah. it. Like, Do you? Are you ever like, oh my God, is this real? Yeah, I'm going to cry when I get home tonight. <laughs> well, I'm honored because I literally, I love you and I don't do makeup. So I was like, we'll never be able to collab. But I, when Douse was here, he was talking yeah. so much about you. And I was like, I was talking so much about you because I was like, oh my God, you collab with <sighs> Kayla. Like, how is this? How did this oh come to God. be? Are you, and you guys are like actual friends. Yes. Yeah. So a lot of these people I meet up with, like I get along with everybody, but there's only like two or three people that I still talk to every day. Yeah. Douse being one of them. Aww. I love Dow so That's much. That's amazing. Yeah. No, I watched your eyes. It's like literally right before you got here, like a 35 minute video about yeah. your pregnancy Q&A. <laughs> and I was like, just you guys doing, or are you making K 
cakes with him in your yeah. kitchen. And I was like, this is friendship is everything. I love him so much. And I hope like eventually we could just become like an iconic duo. Oh, like that's my are. goal. You are the <laughs> iconic duo. I feel like people will dress up as you for Halloween for sure. And you guys oh are very God. easy to like emulate. You know, you do the freckles, you do the septum rings, you oh do all that stuff like that. I think that's, you guys are already the duo a for sure. and Kayla Halloween costume oh, yeah. set. Oh, I see it in that stores. That would be so cute. Or like a makeup it. palette would be cute too. Like <gasps> having your own little like oh my makeup. Gosh. My goal. Freckle powder. That's my goal is to come out with a freckle pen. That's what you should yeah. do because those are so hard to find. Like those. So hard. A good one. Like, I don't know. They're hard to and do. And I know what works because I use them all the time. Yeah. I do have something coming out in 2024 <gasps> that I don't think any influencer has ever come out with, which oh I'm really excited God. for. Is it a beauty product? More of an accessory okay. and it's going to be in stores. <gasps> Okay, this is what I'm so <laughs> fascinated with. 18 years old, like, first of all, having a product 18 years old is super hard. Oh my gosh. It's very difficult to find manufacturers also like that, but to get in a store, do you have like a manager? Are you with a managing company? So I actually did this completely myself. Yeah. What? I have a manager now, but at this time frame, so before anything, I was signed to a really, really, really bad management. They were mm-hmm. getting me the bottom of the barrel deals. Like it was so bad. So then I broke the contract and I went out on my own and I was like, I want to have this product in this store and I want to do it now. So I DM them on Instagram, not expecting a response. DM the store? Mm-hmm. They responded. They were like, we've only done this with one other person. We would love to hop on a meeting with you. And I'm going to like fly out somewhere. I can't really say where to meet with them and like get the products and it should be out in spring. What? I'm like so excited. Just from DMing. That's yeah. literally unheard of. Especially like a store. Because usually you have to find a manufacturer and then you have to yeah. find like buyers and like all placers. Mm-hmm. And that's why. Is it nationwide? I was, um, I think so. Yeah. Oh it's gosh. everywhere that this store is that they're going to be. And I'm just like. Oh my. All from DMing them. And I was like, go do what you mm-hmm. want. Go fight oh. for what you want. Like I, you know. Just go for it. Go that's for it. Literally. Because if I didn't just DM them, like it wouldn't be happening. Oh you my know? God. And what gave you the the confidence? <laughs> like the TikTok sound. <laughs> what, gave Honestly, the what gave you the confidence? What gave you the confidence? I wasn't really thinking. <laughs> I was literally on the plane DMing every brand I know of being like, hey, let's work together. That's amazing. And, yeah. and that's this is one that you heard back from. Yeah, this was the main one I wanted to respond and they did. And I was like, oh my I've God. Never, I've never had that. I was very much like you too. I like would like reach out to like do the craziest things but never heard back. No, so literally. Least. I reached out to Morphe. I was like, hey guys. Wow. Never responded. But and is hey. this, Yeah. <laughs> hey, are they still around? I don't even know. I think so. Their store is closed or something, right? Oh no God, offense yeah. to Morphe. But. but they're doing like collabs like with Meredith. They did a collab with oh. her. But I'm like, where is Morphe? Yeah, that's weird. I guess maybe like the stores just go because they had so many stores. Oh my gosh, I know they were like top of the market. Oh, so many. Mm-hmm. Were you following like beauty gurus back then when oh, like yeah. Jaclyn Hill? And- oh, I saw all of that. Yeah, mm-hmm. the Morphe. They, I mean, that was huge. Morphe palettes. They were so big. Yeah, they were like on top of the world. I yeah. literally have like all of the um, people and Morphe collabs. Did like, you? It, yeah, like all of them. And yeah. How, so you? So did you follow beauty gurus like back in the two thousands? Oh tens? yeah, I a part of the reason why I think I'm kind of like good at social media is because I've watched people like and how they like fall off or like come back Mm. like my whole life like I've just always been so invested in it interesting so what do you notice like the fall off and the comeback what do you notice about people who fall off like what would I think if you don't like adapt like you Mm -hmm. know what I mean like if you keep doing the same thing all the time or like if you let people like kind of bring you down you know what I mean like you let the hate get to you yes like you literally can't it doesn't matter yeah you crumble that right or you like get off the internet yeah that's interesting I think that too because I always wonder that you see people so big and you're like why yeah Yeah. and they were like so massive at one point and you're like did they just fall off did they I always think that too but I think you're right not adapting right like you've done like everything oh, and that's thanks. how it should be like that's how it should I be to keep going you know I'm like what's next podcast tiktok that's why I like love tiktok I mean now right. everyone's on tiktok but mm-hmm. I try to adapt early on because you got into it 2019 uh 2020 I think like yeah pre-pandemic or when the pandemic it was started? right when the pandemic started and I was just doing like little lip sync videos like were you yeah were you doing like the dances and stuff oh my gosh I wish I could dance I can't oh. even do a renegade <laughs> oh well renegade was extremely difficult I couldn't thank do that you because I can't do it no I could not do any of them did you watch a lot of the tiktokers like were you like charlie addison were you like those kind of stands or <sighs> I mean I watched them but like I have an issue where I just get like really jealous of people like oh, same I'm <laughs> yeah. jealous of everybody I'm like ah, I can't stand no, them no literally I can't watch stranger <laughs> things because I'm so jealous of <laughs> millie bobby brown so I'm like you're my age and you're like married oh. and so rich and I'm like 
Isn't that the worst too? And then like on this big TV show, you're like, I wish that that's me with like Margot Robbie, even though we're so different. I'm like, God, I could be Barbie. Like that could be me. I could be on Wall Street. I'm like, that should be me. So like, I can't watch TV shows because I just get jealous that's of the actors. So funny, I do too. And it's so sometimes not even fathomable. You're just like, wait, that doesn't even make sense. That literally, I'd be but I'm of like, them. that should be me. Yeah, that's so. I was like that even with like Charlie and Addison when they were like 16. I'm like 30. I'm like that could have been me at 16 years yeah, old. Yeah, no, I'm watching Charlie now, and I'm like, I should be having 30 million dollars <sighs> and my food in Walmart. Like oh, yeah, that should oh, be me. Oh, we talk about that all the time. The snack. So I'm like, I need snacks in Walmart. Oh my God. Wait, that is so on brand. That's Are you crazy. kidding me? I know. I would love popcorn in there. Potato chips, anything. Give me some <gasps> pasta boxes. Chicken fingers. Chicken tenders. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, frozen chicken nuggies. That would be everything. Find it in Costco. 2024. It needs to happen. Okay, let's oh my DM God. them. <laughs> you, DM Costco. you DM Costco for me. You can be like, oh you. honestly, you're inspiring. I'm like, maybe I should just start DMing oh, companies. Do it. They will respond. Trisha, you are so. on. If they'll respond to me, they have That's to. What, were you, did you hit them up on Instagram? Yeah, and I barely have any Instagram followers. So. Wow. So on TikTok, you have what, 14 million? 13 million. 13 million. Yeah. And then what's on Instagram? Instagram is like 400,000. Wow. Yeah, that's I don't know crazy. how to grow my Instagram at all. Oh, I don't either. I yeah, have no, no idea. idea. And my pictures, like the collab ones, get like a lot of likes. I'm like, thanks, y'all. But like yeah. little selfies, everybody's like, girl. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> oh, me too. I don't, I don't know how I. At, to grow on Instagram at all. But TikTok yeah. is where it's at anyways. Oh, yeah. So are you making money on brand deals and stuff mostly? <gasps> I barely get brand deals. Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. So what are you... Is it creator fund? Is it live? I do creator fund. I just started Snapchat, which is like, I get the hype on it now. Oh, like, are you are you with some... Did someone sign you up for it? Like the monetization thing? Um, I kind of just like had like this rep guy reach out to me. And then oh. my manager was like, get her on the fund. And then I was on the fund. I've heard this. You're like the third or fourth person who told me they make crazy money money on snapchat they're like it's insane and Trisha, I was like, oh. it's insane like it's oh insane God, if one person tells me this, i'm banned from snapchat so i'll never I get on that, that. yeah why i guess because i one time promoted like a link tree that had like a adult of thing on there That's which so i didn't stupid. know it was one time and i was yeah, like i'm so sorry you didn't know what <laughs> and i had so many followers on my snapchat and they won't even let me sign up for a new one it's really really oh my sad God, that happened to my tinder wait <laughs> We shared a link tree or what? <laughs> what happened? No, I got banned. I can never have what? Tinder again. Oh, I think I saw this. Wait, what did you do? Um, <laughs> wait, what did you do a story time on this? Why does it sound familiar? I- I might have talked about it like on live once. I definitely never did a story time because okay. I was like scared. I went on Tinder and I wasn't doing it seriously and I was kind of like joking with the guys and this one guy had a picture of him with like a dead deer. Oh, and you said, are you going to like, okay, are yes, you gonna, tell the story. Yeah. Yes, okay, yeah, I did hear the story. Tell me about a picture tell of them. a dead deer and I was like, are you going to kill me like you killed that oh deer? My. And he did not like that <laughs> at all and I guess he reported my account and I got deleted. Why? Why did they report yours? He's the one with the deer. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't want to see your dead deer. Like, oh my. I want to see your abs. <laughs> First of all, I love, I honestly I would think that's like a cute little joke, you know, especially on Tinder. Right. Literally, like it was so lighthearted and yeah, they oh banned me. I can never have it again. I can't make a new account, but that's okay because I love Hinge. So. Oh my, okay, shout out Hinge. Are you, on Hinge, Hinge. It, are you on it now? Oh my God, yeah. Wait, I thought you had a secret boyfriend. <laughs> oh, we yes. had a falling out. Like recently then? Like really, yeah. Like, like really yesterday? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> yeah. What happened? Yeah, I was surprised because I thought maybe he'd be here. Maybe I should like air it out. This is like. In, air it out. This is exclusive. This is tea. a safe space. I promise. Oh, I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> okay. So basically, the whole thing was a lie. What? What do you mean? So this mystery man guy was just some kid that I met, right? And I really liked him. And I was in a three-year relationship. Like, I recently got out of it. So I don't know how things work. Like, I don't know how any of the dating life works. Wow. So this guy is just, like, so nice to me. And I'm like, oh, my God, we're in love. We're not. I didn't see any of the red flags. And so my love language is let's go on trips together. Oh, my God. So, At 18? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm crazy. <laughs> no, and, you're just a famous rich TikToker, which is amazing. I wish I could have been you at 18. No, stop. It's amazing. I would have been you at 18. <laughs> no, I was a stripper in Van Nuys making $400 a week. <laughs> you're definitely Iconic. on it. <laughs> Um, so, um, I'm like, let's go to, or well, it started off, I was supposed to go collab with Michaela this week, but she canceled. Like, this week or the week that the, the week that we were gonna go on this trip, okay. he was gonna come with me, and then I'm like, oh, she canceled, let's just go to New York, why not? So I spend, like, oh, too much money on this trip, I buy his plane ticket oh, and everything, no. and I post on TikTok being like, he paid for everything, like, making him look like this. I always have said that, too. Yeah, I'm like, he's so rich, guys, blah, 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 just kind of, like, it was funny, and I, I don't know, I wanted to hype him up a little bit. Yeah. And so we're making these TikToks, and the series, like, popped off, like, every video was getting, like, 10 million views, and I'm like, oh, this is good, and so I go live, and I accidentally say his name on live, so some people kind of, like, found out who he was, but not too many. Your face was like... 
Yeah, I was like, oh, I was like, well, oh, God, don't make it obvious. Yeah. Like, that's a code name. That's what we're calling him. Literally. So then after that, he ended up gaining like 30,000 followers on like TikTok, like from me saying his name. And I was like, oh my God. But I was like happy for him. Like, this yeah. is a good series. We could keep it going. Like, maybe date for real, you know? So you weren't dating for real. No, we were kind of just messing around. And then okay. um, basically on this trip, he like, in my opinion, disrespected me a lot. Like, we were laying in bed and I like looked over and he's like swiping on Hinge. I go in the shower. Oh, hell no. Yeah. Hell no. It's not a trip you paid for. Yeah. I get out of ah. the shower. He's on FaceTime with a girl. <gasps> Wait, what? Is he a sociopath? Yeah. Yeah. Like, what a psycho. And then he, like, on the last day, he was like, I don't know what you thought this was, but, like, we're friends. And I was like, oh, we've my been, like, ew. kissing, like, whatever. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, after that, I still talk to him because I'm, like, delusional. And I still didn't <laughs> see the red flags. And then coming from the grapevine, I found out that he had been telling a lot of people in my circle that he was using me for views and that he wanted to have me like go on this vacation with him just to promote his brand that's coming out and that was his whole plan and he didn't even like me wait what he was telling people this Mm -hmm. and people you trust obviously yeah and then i found out and so i just like completely ghosted him and then he like made a stupid little tiktok like Uh here sitting here like with his phone like with the ghost emoji on top i was like i ghosted you because you're (laughs) using me like what (laughs) so did people come for you and were like oh my god why did you ghost him oh they were coming for him yeah always yeah they were like there's a reason i was like yeah there is wow so yeah i literally paid for everything and then he used me and like literally disrespected me so hard did you feel it oh i've been used in every single relationship i've been in or whatever you can want to call them me and so i get it like i totally get it but it's like did you feel it at the time or did you feel like oh it's genuine i honestly thought it was genuine yeah, I mean, that's like you look back at it. I always think that too with my relationships. Like, oh, I really thought we were in love. And then you look back and you're like, oh my God, he like hated me. Like, that's so weird. But you thought in the moment. I thought it was completely genuine. Like, I really thought mm-hmm. that this guy might like me. But also, I'm extremely delusional with like relationships. Yeah. yeah. I like, the same really way. bad. Yeah. Uh, it, what do you think that, were you like that? But you were in a three year relationship. So you obviously know like what it is. I, it's hard because I started dating this guy that I was in a relationship for three years when I was 15. So it was 15 to oh, 18. Okay. So it's like I like got child. out of that literally. Yeah. Really, like five months ago not knowing anything about anything like not knowing how guys were I didn't even know what love bombing was oh, you know what I mean right, yeah so in my mind I'm like oh I've known you for two days let's go on a vacation babe. oh my <laughs> god that you pay for literally and, oh. like are you dumb my best advice is like don't pay for vacations right away because <laughs> they get used to it and they yeah. get like yeah and then they like use you for stuff I know it's like annoying though because it's like you have this money and you're like and let's I'm just like, have fun right, like I want to spoil you yeah, yeah I get that I get that too I don't it's know hard. I would say don't do it but then it's like ah eh, whatever yeah it's your I money. met this guy Yellow. like four days ago and I I want to go to London with him. Like so. recently, this past four days. Yeah. Oh, my, is he British? Or you just want to go to London? I just want to go to London. Where's he him. from? LA. Um, he's from um 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 Florida. Okay. Is he <laughs> an influencer? Um. Oh my gosh. I wish. I really want to like date an influencer no. guy. No. Who would you date? Give me an influencer oh you would God. date. Tell me. Jacob Sartorius. Oh my God. Isn't he like twelve? <laughs> I just collabed with him yesterday. <laughs> oh. Okay. Wait. What? Okay. <laughs> How? Why? This is very. <laughs> the, like, wait, Jacob Sartorius. Oh my god, he's like really. He was a young kid singer. Oh yeah. Who's that? How old is he now? Twenty one, I think. Yeah. What? Yeah, I know. I thought the same thing, and he looks the same. Jacob Sartorius. Sartorius. He had a sweatshirt song. Like you can you wear, wear my sweatshirt. sweatshirt. That and was, like moved yeah. around in the classroom and stuff. I remember this. That oh, was my the god. first song I ever bought. <laughs> <laughs> And that was, okay. How did the clip, first of all, he doesn't do makeup, so what's this clap? So I made a video on Halloween being like, there's nothing scarier than announcing your crush publicly. Mine is Jacob Sartorius. Oh. I was feeling bold. You are a manifester. You just say it and it's speaking into existence. Yeah, and then he saw it, he duetted it, and then he like texted me like, oh, let's collab. So like we made a few videos yesterday, like, Oh my god. Wait, like, what did you guys do? Um, we made like a skit where he like bumped into me on the road and I was like, Who are you? Then there was one of us in the car like singing his song and then one where he like tried to kiss me and I was like, No. What? <laughs> why were why did you say no? I thought you were into it. I am. It's just a skit. Yeah, but I'm okay. like, we should we should so date as a joke. And then like <laughs> <laughs> You are so me. Like it'll be funny. It'll right, be good. It'll for be views. so funny. And if you like fall in love, then like that's just the plus, babe. <laughs> you never know. It never worked for me, but you never know. <laughs> I definitely dated people for views and clicks and and it's fun but it's like it breaks your I heart. fall in love though and then they don't me. fall in love with me and then I'm like wait but I thought this was real I'm like no bitch That's you're what's delusional scary is like the fake stuff here yeah. like so many th- people do things for just views and I'm like yeah but you're going into it thinking like it'll be fun for views but then meanwhile yeah. like you'll fall, I will in love. fall in love I fall in love very easily what's your sign Capricorn Ca- oh oh are you in January uh December 24th oh yeah 
That's right. You're a Christmas Eve baby. Yeah. Did you get a little hat when you were in the hospital? Do you remember? Do you have pictures of you as a newborn? I don't think I did. I really want a Christmas baby because now they put little Santa hats on them when they come at like Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. It's so cute. Wait, are you serious? Yes. That would be precious. Christmas Eve is so magical. Like how was it fun to be born on Christmas Eve? I wish I remembered. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I guess your birthday. <laughs> How was no. it the day you came out? Oh, you know, it was really bright light. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of crying. <laughs> um, I honestly hate it because no one's not around. only is it the 24th, I have a twin. So not only is it like oh. birthday and Christmas gifts, it's birthday and Christmas gifts for the both split of you. Split it. Literally. Yeah. So I, we get one gift and we split it. Oh, man. Yeah. Christmas birthday. My sister's in January and every time I go Christmas shopping, I'm like, I'll just save it for her birthday. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I wish man. it was after. It's like honestly the worst. I hate it so much. And really? yeah. Okay. I was wanted a Christmas baby, but then I was th- thought about that. I was like, yeah, I guess. I feel like I feel like you'd be so nice though. Like oh oh, I'd make it super special. Yeah, you'd for make sure. it really special. Mine was just always combined, so like they yeah. never made it like special. But they said I saw and canceled that Brooke has hers after Thanksgiving. She's like no one's ever around. I saw that. That makes yeah. me so. That is one thing I can never have a birthday party. Yeah. You know, you have like to do it early or something. right. It's like stay the night at my house, but it's Christmas, so you can't spend it with family. You know what I mean? Right. Like, it doesn't so you, work. You never have parties. I've never had a birthday birthday party oh my god that's so sad I know it is especially around Christmas Eve and all stuff like that I guess I get it it sucks I wanted to have like a huge like birthday party in LA but it didn't work but well you can do it this year I should. Wait, I want to oh, try. It's getting close. It's getting close. To I know. Birthday, I want to yeah. get it like sponsored because like Tana's yeah. party was sponsored oh. by a vape company. There was free vapes. Oh, she's so <laughs> smart. She can get money everywhere. She gets money here, there, everywhere. I'm like, you're I know. so smart. I, like I heard she gets paid to go to clubs. I was like, oh, I would kill yeah. for that. Like, I feel like she gets paid to do like just exist. Really, she has <laughs> people she's just friends with, and they just pay nothing sexual. She they just pay her to be friends with and the be life around I her. Want to live? Oh no, <laughs> goals for sure. I'm always like, that's goals, 100. But yeah. you don't vape anymore. Do you use a vape? Yeah. I thought you put them on your water. I did for three days. <laughs> but listen, does it ruin it when you do that? Oh my gosh, they caught on fire. Oh. <laughs> In water? <laughs> they like started like smoking everywhere and then it got really hot. So oh. I like threw it on my balcony and it's like a whole mess. Okay. <laughs> so it does not work. So you, you quit for three days. <laughs> quit for three days. Um, But I am making it a New Year's resolution to quit. Yeah. And I hope it'll work because I take my resolutions very seriously. That's so I'm like, good. please work. Because I, I hate it. My lungs hurt. Like, and it's embarrassing. Oh, girl. Yeah. Then maybe I, I don't judge anyone for anything. I eat fast food, whatever. But I mean, yeah, if your lungs are hurting, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's so bad. And it's Ugh. hard because also like everybody around me, Emma with the vape it's in her hand crazy. right now. I, this is, <laughs> I never knew this was a thing, but all these young people do it. I'm like, wow, this is such a, it's, it's such sad. a phenomenon. It's so sad because like I saw a TikTok and it's so true. Gen Z was going to be like the first tobacco free, like generation. Like yeah. nobody our age wants to smoke a cigarette, but like these vapes, you know. What is it about it? Oh, they taste so good. They taste oh, so good. Oh, it's like good. flavored. Oh yeah. Like mine right now is like oh. pear. Oh, oh, so oh, don't mind if I do. Interesting. Yeah. So you're just like addicted to the the taste. And like the nicotine, it just like Ooh, wow. my mouth is watering. That's what, yeah, I feel like my generation is just very not anti that, like smoking. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not again, it's not bad. Everyone has their vices, I guess, but it's hard. Yeah, my dad like actually just found out like on Thanksgiving that I vape and it was like really scary. <gasps> was that the secret you told him in your TikTok? <gasps> no, I told him that I started to use his credit card. Wait, you started to use his credit card. Yeah, what does so, that mean? Oh, this is like so bad. <laughs> did you steal guys, it or you used it? Guys, like with listen, I swear I'm not like this. This was, I don't know why I did this. He gave me his credit card for Apple Pay because my card got shut off in New York. So he let me use his. Okay. I never took it off and I've spent a lot of money on it. And I thought that he would never catch me. Wait, why do you think he never catch you? He has to get the bill every month. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like a daddy's girl where he's like, it's fine? Oh, no. Oh, because he seems very... a lot. Wait, really? Because oh, he seems yeah. so chill in all your videos. Yeah, no, growing up was hell. Like, hell, I'd get kicked out, like, every other week. Like What? Yeah. What does was... that mean, you get kicked out? Where'd you go? To my mom's. <laughs> he'd oh, be like, divorce. Yeah, he'd be like, get out. And, like, a lot of times I'd, like, oh go run God. to my friend's house. And, oh, like, my God. It was crazy. It was honestly crazy. But now that I turned 18, he's really chilled out. But, like, yeah, growing up What would up you do hell. that would get you kicked out? Um, One was because I started dating my ex that I dated for three years. He didn't like that. So mm. he kicked me out. Um, I got a tattoo. Okay, this one's fair. I got a tattoo without oh. him knowing at 15. Oh, what? What'd you get? It's like, um, it says sunshine on the side. On your rib? Yeah, and I was on vacation wearing a swimsuit around him, and he saw it, and I literally oh. went into the bathroom, and I was like, I'm going to cut the tattoo off. Oh, <laughs> like, my I was God. so scared. Yeah, oh, my I got God. kicked out. That's terrifying. Although, that seems like a... What generation? I guess he's older. Because it's like, I feel like now if my if my daughter got a tattoo at 15, I guess it'd be like shocking. But I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, right. Like, yeah. it's nothing you could do about yeah, it. Yeah, no, it's he's your a body. boomer, I think. So, okay, he's yeah, a boomer. He's a boomer. I'm millennial or Gen Z because we were talking about the generations earlier. So, all right. Oh, yeah. So, he was mad about the tattoo, kicked you out. Yeah. And then, like, 
honestly just like random lash outs. <laughs> he would just be you like, or out. him? Oh. Him. Yeah, he just lash out. Were you like, like a little, like, like, what were you like as a kid? Were you like a little bit of a troublemaker? Honestly, that's what I don't get. I was such a good kid. Oh. I've never done anything besides smoke weed. Like, okay, I yeah. don't do drugs. I would like, I'd sneak out a little bit, but like not that much. Like I was a good kid. I yeah. got good grades. Like, oh, that's so odd. So yeah. maybe he was a hothead. What do you know his he sign? Was. Is he a Taurus? Aries. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I they're usually like chill and stuff. That's interesting. I think it, he got like the psycho side. Okay. That's, <laughs> but you guys are close now because he's in your TikToks and stuff. Yeah. I feel like that's one thing that brought us close and he loves the fame. Like women, like middle-aged <laughs> women will come up to him at the bar and be like, my uh, daughter sees you on TikTok. Like, hey. Oh, no. But is like, he single? Um, he actually just got a girlfriend uh, and she's moving in. The comments are thirsty for him for sure. They're like, your dad's so hot. I know. And, and it like <laughs> hypes him up and I'm like, guys, stop talking. <laughs> your friend's like, yeah. Cause he is. He's definitely like, he's like young and you're just like, oh, this guy's kind of hot. Yeah, no, all my friends want him. <laughs> oh man. Isn't that the, is that the worst? Or are you like, okay, he's kind of cool. I'm like, I'll put you on. Okay. Okay. So you're down for it. <laughs> oh yeah. Like you can be my stepmom. Cause your mom is really pretty. So it'd be oh, hard to like gorgeous. compare to yeah. her. Yeah. My mom is like, oh my gosh, role model. Like yeah. I love my mom so much. She's somebody I look up to like every day like has never ever like looked down on me for anything i could be like i oh. just hit a family of five and she'd be like it's okay sweetie uh, like we all make mistakes mom goals that's <laughs> literally so she's sweet. so sweet i love uh, her i hope my daughter talks about me like that one day oh she will oh uh, that's oh, she so will. amazing <laughs> yeah. so she's so you grew up in illinois mm-hmm. born or indiana indiana oh. right, born in illinois and then moved to indiana when i was like five okay so yeah. you mostly grew up in indiana yeah what city are you near gary or where um, are you at? yeah i was actually like 20 minutes from gary i grew up in a place called portage indiana which is so weird to say <laughs> is it like really small? A really small town. Um, it's like 45 minutes from Chicago and it's just cornfields. Like uh, yeah. we would go to Walmart for fun or I had one activity. Ah, uh, don't lock me up. <laughs> <laughs> I never know the rules on that either. I always say stuff I did. I'm like, oops. I you don't know, know what? It was a while ago. Yeah. Oh, it's like stealing. I think it's fine now if you stole. Oh, I I don't know if it's worse or better. I okay. would <laughs> drive around with my friends and throw hot dogs at cars. Oh. Like moving cars okay. though. Okay. Well, that's not the worst. At least you're not throwing it at people. I don't know. Oh, I don't know well, if that's I mean, bad we did throw not. it at people too. It was bad. Oh we just God. throw hot dogs. I don't know why we did I think it. Your generation is a little bit baddie. That's a little troublemaker. That's a little bit. Yeah, that was like the one thing. But like, at least I'm not egging houses. I'm just throwing a hot That's dog. That's true. People yeah. did that a lot. Or toilet paper houses, and stuff. which I never did. I was yeah. like, "That's destructive." Like, if I woke up with a weenie in front of my house, like I wouldn't be mad. Like, yeah, that's random though. Why? Why did you do that? I just bored. Yeah, I was like, whatever. I did baloney sometimes too. Oh my god. Well, baloney is disgusting. So that makes sense. Oh but yeah. That's what. Yeah, in the Midwest. There's really nothing to do. Right. The so same way. We just had to think like what's next yeah hot dog, like, baloney how can we keep ourselves would your sister Literally. do this with you or are you just doing this solo uh she would come a few times yeah yeah are you guys like how would you say are you guys close or would you say you're separate we used to be like not close at all like constantly fighting but recently we've gotten close with like a few fights here and there but like now we're, we're good you're good <laughs> yeah. you like being a twin or would you be like oh, i kind of wish i wasn't oh my gosh i love being a twin because okay. it's like i'm never like jealous like oh you're younger than me and i want to be in high school That's and i'm true. never jealous like you're older you know you're i'm just such age. a jealous person i don't yeah. know <laughs> same 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 it's so bad. <laughs> it's not bad. I think also you like grow out of it at some point. I mean, a little bit. I get I jealous hope, of people I sometimes. I do because it's like so bad. You learn to like tame the jealousy. Like sometimes you're just like, okay, my life's pretty good at some point. So <laughs> Right. I just need to be like, okay, Kayla, look at what you have. Stop comparing yourself oh, to everybody sure. else. Because yeah. people would think that about you for sure. They're like, oh, I'm so jealous of this person. <gasps> I mean, you collab with so many people. Like Michaela never collabs with people. You know what I mean? It's like, how are you? It's crazy that they, what do you think it's about you? Just, it can't be more. It can't be just the spamming. It has to be something else. I don't even know what it is like that makes people want to do it. I'm so honored though like because it is people that like never collab you know like it's wild i don't get it but i'm like thank you like i even did something with like the brand charlotte tolbury oh wow what'd you do with them they um had me like go to this like hotel and like they had like sophia tolbury like do my makeup and i was like whoa like they did like a list celebrities makeup and they're like yeah come on over and i'm like i'm a tiktoker like no you're and you have that model look like you definitely have that face like you could be on america's next top model like you definitely have that look and when people (laughs) transform you you look so different oh i know each look looks so different you could be editorial you could be glam you could be high fashion and it looks amazing like uh michaela's makeup and you the blue one i was just Mm -hmm. like oh my gosh like just such a different person it was insane it's insane it gives me the biggest identity crisis like I take it off at night and I'm like whoa (laughs) no but you're natural like I'm looking at you now and your skin is so I mean you're 18 so your skin's perfect but it is crazy to like see how different you look and that's like what makes like a model would you ever do that would you ever do like modeling that's honestly one thing I've never really like felt drawn to I would do acting for sure maybe like a little singing but like I love it oh yeah I don't know about modeling oh yeah do you karaoke (gasps) I love karaoke yes 
yes. What's your go-to? Um, oh, it's um, it's Lady Gaga Bad Romance. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Can you sing now? Should I do it? Please. Okay. I love when people sing. Thank you, by the way. I ask every guest <laughs> to sing and they're like, no. If it's bad, it's okay because I'm not the best. I do it for fun. No, I I, <laughs> I have like 10 albums and I can't sing, so. <laughs> All right, TikTok, clip this one. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ready? Kayla. Whoa, 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 caught in a bad romance. Ga, ga, ooh, ooh, ah. Roma, roma, ma, ga, ga, ooh, la, la. Want your bad romance. I want you to ugly. I want your disease. I want your everything as long as it's free. I want your love. Ooh, love, love, love. I want your love. I want your love. You know that I want you. You know that I need you. I want you bad, bad, bad romance. I want you ugly. I want your revenge. You and me could write a bad romance. Whoa, caught in a bad romance. That was so oh my good. god, you're so talented. Wow. We could be the next Ally and AJ. Oh my gosh, we literally need to go to karaoke. <laughs> love karaoke whenever I have parties at my house which hasn't been recently because I have a baby but yeah. I used to always get karaoke at my house <gasps> That's it was so like fun. no it was kind of like lame but people like live for it because it's kind of like a little bit it's of a loser so activity fun. it's literally so fun I, I love, love it. it so much I went to like my first karaoke night and I was going like in rooms with random people oh, getting on the those? table yes. yes and just singing for everybody walking out going to the next oh. like <laughs> do that you know you could do that oh yeah is there's, that what they are like you go into different yeah, rooms there's a lot of karaoke bars where you could just like it's a bunch of rooms of like private like suites i guess yeah and you could just walk in oh i didn't know i think you had to like be with the group i think you're supposed to but you just like are you going by yourself or you bring your friends with you i always bring my friends with me emma okay. is always with me everywhere i go i love it yeah oh that's yeah. so cute she has only not been to two collabs like i bring her with everywhere i go wow that's yeah. so cool yeah i so love you guys, her and you guys are new besties you said eight months ago eight months yeah when i moved to florida i went to the studio <laughs> trying to like make a song as every tiktoker does wait what does that mean you went to like a recording studio mm-hmm. wait every tiktoker does this i don't know any tiktokers oh who yeah sing. i feel like every tiktoker like wants to make I music i can think of as alex warren i can't think of anyone else who else <gasps> uh dixie d'amelio um oh yeah i guess she does sing yeah is uh, she yeah okay i know bailey spin makes music do you know who that is bailey spin she does povs yeah. I, know I probably she, would know she I... makes like really good music i just know a lot of tiktokers that like go into music oh, and I so i was know. like let me hop on that yeah and um so i went in the studio and i wrote my own song and it sounded so bad wait why i can't sing <laughs> studio can make you sound good like I, first of all you can second of all like your studio makes you sound good like i go into the studio they tune me up you know what i mean yeah yeah no i was so nervous i was just like uh, uh, oh really yeah it was bad oh my god what was your song um it you was called original? like a uh, attached or something and i wrote it myself and i like it, uh, it the lyrics are good like i want to sell it to nessa barrett uh, like it's good oh my god we were supposed to have nessa yesterday and she canceled she no was sick she way. was sick yeah no way yeah no way yeah we were i was so excited to have her yeah they said they would Wait. reschedule yeah she got sick but nessa barrett yeah and you're having me on you got nessa barrett <laughs> you just up there with her oh no Nessa God. is queen she I love is her. going to be the next like big thing oh, like swear no for sure because they were like they even sent me her song in advance i was oh coming up this thursday where they're sending me all stuff like no, i love her she's a queen i'm like and they when they when she got sick i was just like yes please anytime they're like reschedule i'm like i will put all my days aside for her oh for my sure gosh. yeah i was really excited she was supposed to go on a couple times and it kind of fell through but she's I just love her. She's borderline personality disorder like me. And so I just like, oh and her God. songs are so great. Right. Her new one, the, um, the, um, I know about the girl in New York. Have you heard that <gasps> one? What is oh that? Oh my gosh. Like, who the hell is she, she taking you from me? I love her. So good. Yeah. Wait, so did I you guys reschedule? About- um, they said after the holidays because she's on tour. She goes to Australia. <gasps> oh so she was God. supposed to come in November and then she had a tour and then she was supposed to, she goes to Australia on this Thursday. So they oh said after gosh. the holidays. So yeah. That's going to be a good episode. Uh, I hope so. I'm putting it out there now because like, you know, it, it, she's, she's also just like a superstar. She's like, oh, yeah. where they're just so, I mean, she tra- tours and everything. So. She's so famous. So yeah, famous. And no, she's so gorgeous. She's so gorgeous. She's so sweet, and I, I just I love her so much. And we have like a mutual friend, my friend Zach. He like he interviews her for his show all the time. He's oh, like, she's I so saw sweet. One of yeah. those episodes, yeah, yeah. She's oh really. God. I just I love her music. I love everything about her. And oh, she's wait, great. that's so good. Trisha. Yeah, that's so exciting. Yeah, she's like I know she's one I'm very excited about. I'm excited oh about God. everyone though. Like even you coming today, I was just like Aww. so excited because I love to like get to know everything about you. And like you said, you don't do a lot of like podcast interviews. Oh yeah, this is my first one, and which I'm is, like so excited, which I love because <laughs> I was like I like to do like deep dives. I'm like okay, let me ask questions people don't ask, but because you've never been on a podcast, I was like 
oh my god and you're so good like you're so high energy oh my gosh I was so scared I was like I don't know how to do podcasts like (laughs) I was I know I was so honored I was just like oh my gosh and I like I think I must have DM'd you or something after the Dallas one because I was just like I love you so much or no I want to say you DM me because I was too scared to DM you I was like there's no way this girl will ever come on you followed me back and I called Ashley my my twin and I was like (laughs) do I DM her like do I DM her and I was in Boston about to go like meet with Michaela and I was like I'll just do it and then you DM back and I started crying I was like girl you're clapping with Michaela okay that's like you're Trisha Paytas that's so cool that's so nice to hear because I like I probably would have never DM'd you just because you do club with so many huge influencers I'm like well I'm not quite on that level so no I mean Jacob Sartorius you're above the level yeah I don't know Jacob's pretty big he's oh my gosh does he still sing does he still have yeah he actually comes out with the song free promo Jacob you're welcome <laughs> on like Friday or something oh really yeah I, I mean how the music I just I want him to do a remix of sweatshirt I think that would do really good for oh him oh my gosh because that was that was like the one song like, I'm way older obviously than him but that was like mm-hmm. the one song I remember like we all like watched and knew right Even, and it was so good yeah and like I'll be the girl wearing the sweatshirt <gasps> Oh my god, that would be so good. After meeting him, going back to it, do you were you like, okay, he's lives up to the hype, or were you like, oh, he's just like a normal person? I like think me. he's scared of me. <gasps> were you a lot? Were, I mean, first of all, you have the most energy, which I love. Thank you. <laughs> but I think there's some people who will be like, you're too much, but never dial it back because it's amazing. Well, but. here's the thing. I feel like I did dial it back quite a bit because it was very like chill, just like whatever, which I love. Like yeah. Michaela was also like a very chill like person. Wait, really? Oh yeah. Okay, I we thought, gotta get into that. Yeah. Okay, tell so, me that. So Jacob was just like very chill. And um, I, I think he was scared of me, though, because I made a few videos saying how much like I had a crush on him. And now that we're like face to face, I feel like he was just like nervous or scared of me. Oh, I don't yeah. Know. I feel like when you know someone likes you, too, you're like, OK, I got to like live up to it. I know, and, and I was so scared. I was like, Jacob, like, it's OK. Yeah. You're like, you don't have to fall in love with me. <laughs> yet. Like, it's OK. Like, let's just make the videos. Let's post them. Like, good to go. Do you ever get nervous? Do you ever get like intimidated? Um, I would say the times yeah I honestly I get really nervous but like there's sometimes where I'm completely not like today I was like so excited yeah but like with like Michaela I was like shitting bricks like I was so scared yeah because I did that one alone is it because she's like so like mad because you guys kind of came up at the same time it's not like she's been around forever which is amazing yeah blown up so quickly but like is it just that she's so big so popular so it was the way that I had no idea like how we would like interact you know what I mean like there's just some people that I'm like how are we gonna mesh you know right especially like I don't know it was so scary it was so scary and how did it go Amazing. you said she's chill she's so chill which is like wild because her videos are so I like know. hang on you would <laughs> think it was just like hey hey yeah. you know? <laughs> but she was so chill like just like hey how are you and i was like oh my god what? yeah she was so chill and wow. um she had like uh, a hairstylist and another makeup artist there and they were also so nice and she had like oh god, bougie oh my god her house like really gab. and she's in boston that's like bougie oh my that's gosh it was so bougie there. her christmas decor was out and i was like uh, michaela like what the hell like yeah yeah she i mean she's killing it she gets like lancome deals maybelline i'm like girl oh you're God. clapping with everybody i'm like can i have some like yeah, i'm surprised you don't i'm shocked you don't none i had that's one so brand deal in the past like three months and that was it it must be like her company like a management company that just gets those big ones for her right it has to be or yeah. like i don't know i think brands are like how do we have her incorporate it but i'm like great idea i'll have the person doing my makeup use your product oh, on my totally. face there we go like, yeah I, come on no that would i mean i think it's really just getting like finding someone who can get you those big deals because i right. know michaela supposedly allegedly i don't know her but someone said she got like eighty thousand dollars like a land company. she probably gets more now oh, i know there's some influencers that are getting paid six hundred thousand dollars a month from brand deals six hundred k i can't even fathom i can't process that, that. like that's Cra- that's amazing it's actually yeah. amazing again that comes like the jealousy of me where i'm just like that's insane that yeah. you're making that at such a young age like i've right. never I'm made like, that i'm still hustling so hard for the coin yeah that's crazy i have no idea how like half these people do it like even like maybe i'll blurt his name okay like even like oh, he yeah. is like so effing rich and i'm like really Whoa, yeah oh he's like, humble king he's so he's humble, so about humble it. but yeah. so rich and i'm like how do i get like you <laughs> I, I'm flabbergasted. I've had a couple other TikTokers on who tell me how much they make, like, from Snapchat and stuff like that. And I'm just like, that's crazy. Yeah, no, I just started, like, uh, I think, like, three weeks ago. And I've already made more than I ever have on TikTok. Wow. Which is, I'm like, I'm posting pictures. Can you say a price? We can edit it. (laughs) Um, This month, so far, in three weeks, I made $12,000 from Snapchat. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. (laughs) I don't know how. From Snapchat? From Snapchat. Oh my gosh. I mean, again, I'm so happy, but also so yeah. jealous. I was like, how? <laughs> Every episode I mention Snapchat, I'm like, Snapchat. <laughs> I will. Oh my gosh. Wait, I have a connection. I could like, should Please. I tell him? Should I be like, you can, but I'm, I my, will. my feeling is like someone has like the connection, like Tana's had the connection too, and they tell him, and they're like, no, thank you. We don't want her. 
so i mean you can put oh it out gosh, there i'm gonna try i'm okay. gonna try to get you on you need snapchat i have all my friends helping me i'm like you guys go oh my god so you don't get to yeah. do like snapping back and forth no it's devastating Trisha, that's i know so sad. i kind of killed the snapchat game when i was on it like back in 2018 like i was crushing it i was getting like a million views of snap i was like <gasps> crushing it i don't know what it's like now but but they use our clips from just trish on there like on their home page and stuff i'm like can you let me back on please wait that's insane if they're yeah. using you on the platform i know that's what i'm saying i'm gonna sue them because i was like they won't let me on but they're gonna use my clips i would literally sue and i'm gonna <laughs> message my tit or my um snapchat rep today okay, and be like let her on i won't see you snapchat but just give me a brand deal <laughs> let her back on and you spare to sue please please because it is i i really did enjoy it i actually love social media like even tiktok yeah. i wasn't like making money on. i just love posting on there it's so fun it's so fun and it's like the fact that you could get paid for it is insane yeah it's, i love it i love no, it no it's cool like when i first discovered like getting paid on youtube i was like wow i hit the gold mine you know oh what i mean God, like i can imagine the lottery do see, you make money off your youtube yeah but not that much yeah it's gone down a lot the like, adsense has gone lot. down i'm like yeah. how are people like i go to these influencers houses who like do youtube and i'm like yeah. how are you affording this no i always think the same thing i'm always like what but they have a lot of side hustles you know it's like canada yeah. has a lot of side hustles yeah. and stuff too but but some people i guess do have higher cpms i don't know either yeah I, just, I don't even know how any of it works i'm just like you know what? i'll take the extra money yeah. but i also mainly do youtube shorts like i'm trying to get into oh. youtube videos right now it's just so hard like because i post every day on social media yeah so like to also do a youtube video is just like so much because you have to like edit and upload it right. too and it's i not don't just... know how to do long form content you're like, good i watch, oh, I watch pretty much all your vlogs i think you have like i don't know 20 vlogs up right now and i watch like oh all God, of them. they're all like sorry dad gone wrong yeah. <laughs> gone wrong in yeah. quotations and all of them <laughs> what is that? that's very uh that's very david dobrik 2018 to be like <gasps> gone wrong you oh know my what God, i mean yeah. and they got like so many views i'm like yeah. i'm just trying to get the views like even on snapchat so i clickbait like click what do you bait, do what's the clickbait for snapchat um i'll like pose in front of a car and be like oh my god i crashed it and then just like <laughs> So what does that mean? So they show like a cover photo because I'm so I'm not on Snapchat. So yeah. like they show a cover photo and then you have to click to the end to get to that photo. Yeah. So basically like the last photo will be the cover one. So you want the last picture that you post to be like some crazy photo. So they'll oh. click through it. The more they click, the more you get paid, the more ads. Yeah. I also heard they're very into like pregnant people over there. Like people click big pregnancy. It's so weird. Please there's tell this... them I'm pregnant. I'm just going to get bigger and bigger. <laughs> there's four this months. one guy. I watch drama channels. This guy, Aust not Austin McBroom, but the Landon McBroom. Oh. He like posts his ex-girlfriend. Like pre yes. Yeah. Weird. That's weird. Weird. And then I saw JoJo see while like pushing out her belly, like yeah. like baiting that she was pregnant. I'm like, what are you guys doing? Yeah, that's wild. But I guess Snapchat's they, promoting this, so push it. And I'm like, whoa, get a real pregnant person on there. <laughs> let, let Trisha on, like let she's literally pregnant. My... Like, <laughs> okay, let's talk about your pregnancy thing. Okay, so <gasps> you, okay, what are you over talking about this? You're like, no, no, okay. I'm, I'm so good. <laughs> so was this real the live that you did where you like took it out? Is that real or you're trolling? So I was trolling okay. and I didn't realize like I didn't realize how like bad that is to do oh right yeah You're young, I, I mean. didn't really think about it so I was like oh I did it well no here's the thing because I did think I was pregnant and so then I like took the test uh. on live and then like 35,000 people joined and so I was like <sighs> oh I want them to stay in the live yeah. so I just didn't say what it was and then right. everybody's like you're pregnant and I was like oh no and, and I just never said yes or no so a lot of people do think I am and I'm not and I feel really bad. oh so you yeah. never said anything yeah well you're young give her grace you know what I mean because it is one of those things where you don't know right like you you don't know about anything like that right. so it does make sense and people <sighs> when I was I mean there's definitely been ones of me and Shane where Shane's like Trisha's pregnant it's like me with a pregnancy test so yeah it's definitely something like you don't know when you're young but I thought you were then because I, I saw Dows's video then too like <laughs> about her pregnancy like, he oh titled my gosh. it that I was like Dows <laughs> did you care were you like what are you doing or I you thought just, it was like, funny okay okay <laughs> I love that about about you like I do love that you like don't care you know what I mean oh yeah I don't I'm like everybody yeah. can know everything about me like yeah. I don't care which sucks when it comes to dating it's like I'll meet up with guys and they're like oh I already know and I'm oh, like yeah. oh you do they like research you do they like look you up on TikTok they'll find out on accident like this one guy that I'm talking to like I accidentally sent him a TikTok and then they recommended my account to him and I was like <gasps> uh well, yeah cool because then they like know that you're a big deal oh but they hate it like he literally told me he was like I like you so much but the only reason I can't date you is because people will know who you are in public Oh, really? So sorry I'm making a free McChicken from McDonald's. <laughs> you, you, yeah. So sorry. <laughs> you get free McDonald's. That's bougie. I don't even get free McDonald's. Few times, yeah. But sometimes they'll, like, seat you. Like, we do sometimes get, like, special seating when we go to restaurants and stuff like right. that. So. Like, like, sorry. Like, that. Yeah. you hate that. Someone like, will love it one day. Someone will love it. I, I think the guy that I'm talking to now likes it. The one you're going to go to London with? Yeah. Okay. And he's not an influencer. No. He doesn't even have TikTok on his phone. Wow. Yeah. So I told him what I did, and he was like, oh, cool. And I was like, oh, oh cool. Oh, yeah. he, and he's, okay, is he older? Um, he's older by like a year and a half. Okay, good. Good. And so you're not into like 40 year olds. If they're rich, I would. <laughs> <laughs> but like, 
like, no, I, I do like younger guys, um, okay. like around my age. Um, good, good, good. Yeah. Stay that way. Yeah, I, I, I plan to. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Whenever I hear like 18 year olds that are into 40 year olds, I'm like, stop, don't do it. Yeah, no, I like yeah. college kids for sure. Like Perfect. kids in college. Because okay. it's like, I have the influencer life and then you have yeah. the college life and we get to like swap a little that's bit. Cute. Yeah. yeah. So I get to go to like the frat parties. Oh my gosh, that's cute. So you do. So you're out there dating. You're yeah. All, okay. I actually drove 12 hours um, for one guy that I knew for three weeks. Where? Where did you drive I to? I drove from Florida to Virginia. <gasps> oh my gosh. What is he? So he was in college. Was he like an athlete? Um, He just went to college for no reason. His family... <laughs> get this Trisha this was insane his family is billionaires oh okay billionaires wow. I pulled up to his house there was 20 Porsches in the front yard you had no idea no idea and he's like wow. so sorry like I didn't want to make you feel some type of way and I was like oh, okay. which one are we taking <laughs> like whoa <laughs> that's yeah. why and so I drove to Virginia and then he kicked me out Wait, of his dorm I, I, yeah I spent $1,500 on a hotel and I drove 12 hours, and then I get there, and we end up staying in his dorm. He refused to stay in the hotel. I'm sorry if you're watching this, by the way, but this oh is what happened. God. And, yeah, the third day that I was there, he, like, rolled over and was like, I think you should go. And so I drove back the next day. Oh, you think he was just, like, it was too much, like, too too much together at once? Yeah, I don't think he liked me. Uh, well, at least you lasted three days. So I'm, honestly, I've been kicked out after, like, an hour. They're like, you oh should probably God, go. So at least my feelings so much. Oh, it's the worst. Like, hookup culture, when I used to hook up with people, like, I, sometimes I'd get there, and they'd be like... I don't think this is going to work. I was like, oof, so awful. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, cringe. see, that would hurt my feelings Yeah, so but at least much. you lasted three days. <laughs> three days. <laughs> That's wild. I wonder yeah. if guys, I mean, first of all, guys just in general are, like, dumb, but maybe they're just, like, intimidated. Also, I feel yeah. like young guys, they think, like, oh, it's, like, too much too soon. I don't know. Right, and I'm just like, can we just have fun? Like, yeah. you know. Maybe they don't think that. Maybe in their head they think, oh, she's, like, trying to move in with me or something, you know. Right, and I'm like, we can, but, like. <laughs> I will. Like, you can propose to me, but, like... <laughs> would you Would you get married, do you think, fast? Like, if someone proposed that you were in love with? Oh, my God. That's what's scary is, like, there's been two guys. Like, the billionaire. Like, I was like, if he proposed to me, I'd say yes. And, like, the guy that I'm talking to now, my friend... Four days ago? Four days ago? I've known him for four days. If he proposed, I would say yes. That's why it's good you go with her everywhere. They're shaking she, they, their both heads of them, off camera. Both of them saying no. We need audience cam when audience are here because it's so funny. Well, yeah, I no. feel like... Wait, why no? Why no? Well, I get the vibes that we're just in love. <laughs> okay, so they said four days ago they met and they're like obsessed. Obs- he's obsessed with you. Yeah, but you know, I'd say, you know, very much both ways street and we'll just see where it goes basically. You're obsessed with him, you think? I think so. He's coming over uh, when I get the day I get back from LA, I'm picking him up and he's like coming over to your house? Yeah. To your place? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you live together. You guys live together. No, I live on my own. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Maybe you should live together. <laughs> because just in case. Yeah. Oh, my God. When we moved to LA in March, we are going <gasps> to live together. Yeah. Are you actually going to move here? Yeah. I'm so excited. Oh, do you know where? Have you started to look or oh anything? Oh, my gosh. I really want to move to, like, oh, I really like Topanga. Like, I love Topanga oh, so much. But that's it's close like, to here. Yeah, and it's yeah. so pretty, but it's so expensive. Yeah, it's a little, but LA's kind of like that. In general, it's, like, not too bad, that area, like... Yeah, it's, like, really pretty. It's, it's I, nice. I think I want to, like, buy a house, though, because, like, the amount that you pay for rent, you can buy a house. You it's, know what I mean? Okay, that's so smart. I yeah. spent all my money on rent. I probably spent $10 million on rent. Literally, I used to oh spend, like, 10000 I think I, I rented a house for $30,000 a oh. month. I was that person that just, like, spent all my money on oh rent. Oh, my God. Yeah. I could cry. I pay twenty seven right now, and that right there is just, like, a stab in the heart a month. Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, yeah. I hate it. For here, you can definitely get a house for that, and that's, like, your mortgage and right. stuff like that. Literally. Like, our mortgage here is less than the rent I paid before. It's, like, insane. Because it's the first house I owned, and I was like, oh, my God, it's less than and the rent. this is, like, the best house I've ever seen in my they- life. <laughs> Gorgeous. We're, we're kind of far out, so if you, like, move a little far out from L.A., then it's, like, you get a little yeah. more bang for your buck and it's like really pretty out here we pulled up to the gates and we were like whoa (laughs) (laughs) yeah it's really nice i used to live in like the valley and stuff like that and it just was really expensive for like not a lot but kind of depends are you like a party person do you like to go out oh i definitely am a party person you like go to clubs or just oh yeah i'll go to clubs i love house parties i love anything with like a little bit of party, a little party. Yeah. Okay, there's nothing wrong with a little party. Right. Yeah, I love I'm that. young, so for sure. Yeah. No, do it now. That's everything. <laughs> yeah, I feel like by the time I'm 21, I won't want a party because that's like oh, how for sure. I, I go. Like that's how it is. You yeah. kind of get like a burnout from it, and then you're like, okay, I'm gonna right. Over and it. I'm going to so quick. So yeah. yeah. Everybody, like, I saw the comments on Douse's videos, and they were like, "Oh my god, we thought she was like so innocent," and I was like. <laughs> you do come across that way, even though you have like the piercings and the yeah. tattoos. Like you still come across very wholesome, which you are. I mean, I think going to go party is like nothing crazy. You know, I have a few 
quirks but <laughs> yeah a few, a few flaws it makes you you no okay so what let's start okay because i love the piercings i love yeah. the tattoos how old were you when you got your first piercing my first piercing yeah. was when i was 14 and it was my septum ring so i've had it for like four years now wow yeah and then when i was 16 i got my two nostrils and then my mom like was the one that let me get all these piercings the one thing she was like you can never get is a tongue piercing so the day i turned 18 i got it i do love it because i oh, love a tongue ring i love ring. it so like yeah <laughs> it's very did you ever see the movie 13 it's such an old movie with nikki <gasps> yes. reed wait i think so yeah yeah yeah, yeah and they had the, the, the cover is literally their tongue ring it's like uh, yeah so, they're so, was fun. so cool they are so fun to play with like i love a tongue do ring. you like oh god I, they hurt though right honestly no someone said it's because it's like so thick the tongues that like it hurts. i feel like it doesn't hurt at all but like making out with somebody it's like kind of like oh my god they bite on it and they like like ah! like your tongue's like Metal. And then it hurts, yeah. Or when you like bite down on it on accident. Oh my god, that hurts. (laughs) That's crazy. Oh my god, I wouldn't even think about that. Like, yeah, when you kiss someone, like that's like a experience. Oh my god, (laughs) is anyone ever like I don't know what to do? Kind of like this one guy. I guess thought it was fun, and he like pulled on it so hard that the webbing on my tongue ripped, and my muscles is sticking out of my tongue right now. (laughs) Did you go to the doctor? Oh my god! Did you have to go to the hospital? I, I don't know what, what to happened. Do. Oh, just it's just there. It's just yeah, it's just up. like my, I can't stick my tongue out more than like. Oh, that. Well, I have a short one too. I just can't say. I, that's the most. I, I can't stick it out anyways. Maybe mine's like that too. I've never been able to. Really, I've I just been able to jealous. go like all the way down to my chin, and now I can't. Oh yeah, when people do that, I can touch their nose. I'm like, huh? <gasps> Touching the nose is I, crazy. I literally can't. Oh, that's the most it comes out. It's so weird. I've always had like short, fat tongue. So insecure about it. A tongue it. piercing would be cute on you. <laughs> Except I can't, I can't push it out. And my tongue's always been like white, and I, I brush it, I scrub it, and it always looks like brush <gasps> or something me, like that. Me though, literally. No, me. you don't. You have a good tongue. It's like very Thank not you. white. <laughs> Maybe when it heals, I'll be able to stick it out again. And oh, then. But yeah, then you can show your ring. And then your tattoos. How many do you have? I think I have fifteen. <laughs> and you know, this is a very new thing I see with like young people. Like, I sound old with young people, but it's very like sporadic. They're very like yeah, all they're over called the place. sticker tattoos. Yeah, and I love them. And oh. I've recently like this one's falling off. I just got it. It's like a lightning bolt on Wait, my it's hand. It's falling off. Yeah, a tattoo. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. You see how it's like oh. a lot of like yeah. Whoa, this is crazy. So what is this? Is like what is, is this like veins? It's it, it, it's a, I don't know. <laughs> it's a red lightning bolt, but it does look okay, like I veins. Was yeah, say lightning. I did yeah. was about to say lightning, and then I, I was love like, it. And it's just falling off. And then like I have like scribbles what? and stuff. I What's literally the scribble right here. This is a person with their head like as yarn because I like dissociate a lot and like I feel like that's what it feels like. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Wow, that's very um artistic of you. Oh, thank you. I found it on Pinterest. <laughs> oh, okay. Did you type in like disassociating tattoos? <laughs> literally, yeah. I find all my tattoos on Pinterest. Like not oh, a single wow. one's original besides that like random scribble what's that one just you scribbling or someone um, else my sister drew it oh my and then gosh. tattooed it on me she's a tattoo artist actually what <laughs> in indiana yeah. oh my god Chicago. yeah oh i would never know looking at you that's so crazy oh my god yeah. i love tattoos but i just i'm so scared of them wait do you have any i have zero tattoos <gasps> yeah i like the idea of them but you don't have any tattoos no i, I think it would look good my body's a little doughy i think it would look wait, a little distorted no. and then what if i like lost weight gained weight it's just like, I, my body goes up and down so much oh my I gosh no i feel like you should at least get a little ankle tattoo like maybe a jt like for just trish oh like. i love that meant, like justin timberlake or something like that <laughs> I would get an ankle. I like the back tattoos because Brittany always had a back one. Oh, like a tramp stamp. Oh, I oh, love Oh my god, those. my mom has one. Oh, oh yeah. She I love eats. that. Yeah, I love it. I, we're probably the same age. How old is your mom? Um, I think she's 45. Oh, we're pretty close to the same age. I'm probably close <laughs> Wait, to your mom's age. I'm 35. You're so young, Trisha. I'm 10 years from your mom, but I'm like so many years no, from you. you. Are, Trisha, you are young. I'm 17 years from you. Oh my gosh. Wow, it's crazy. Oh my god. I could be your mother. Hi, mom. Would you like <laughs> I would love it. Oh my! I always wanted to be a young mom. Like seriously, I wasn't gonna be a mom at like twenty. Oh I guess I could have literally had you. I have seventeen years difference. I could have been a seventeen. We might be long lost. Mom. Could you imagine? <laughs> oh, I gave you up for adoption. Oh my god! I would no, die. your mom's gorge. No, she really is. I love. And what's on her back? Um, it's. It's just like a design of like a tramp stamp. I don't even know what it is. She has like just a like, full sleeve though. Like wow. she's fully tatted. Like I love it. I would get like a My Chemical Romance tattoo, like the <gasps> way or something. Oh, do it. I saw someone have one and I thought it was like the coolest thing ever. Oh my gosh, you should do it. I'm just scared. I'm scared of like the permanentness of it. I'm mm. scared of the paint. I'm really like a bad person for paint. Like piercings too. Like I, I had my belly button pierced and like made me pass out. I was so much pain. Really? I don't yeah. have my belly button pierced, but I really want to get that one. I loved it. I was very into like Britney Spears, so she always had that piercing. Oh, she's iconic. The I love belly her. Belly ring is everything. My 
my husband didn't like like it so much. So when I got pregnant, I took it out. But I, I'm going to get it back after my pregnancy. I'm get it Wait, back. when you're pregnant, can you have it? And you're... people do, but it looks <gasps> crazy because it gets like stretched. Yeah, I know. I was like, oh, I don't oh my think god, I want that. Wait, I've seen that's it. scary. Yeah, like on, on 16 and pregnant, they always are have their belly rings pierced and they're always like stretching. It Honestly, out. iconic. Yeah. Like <laughs> no, that it is. Pregnant stomach. Oh my god, I love that. I know, maybe I'll put mine back in. <laughs> Like I, loved it, but it gave me, I was in so much pain I like was gonna pass out from it so it was like wild oh my god wait how long did yeah. you have it for um year oh my god 10 years probably yeah. oh my god I loved it and I keep getting it repierced sometimes it would close up so I was getting it repierced I thought it was so cool but I say bring it back okay maybe I will <laughs> I say you do it oh my god I want the septum though I got a fake one because I was honestly gonna wear it today it's like magnets it's like magnetizes oh, right I've here oh I've seen those yeah yeah and I was like and I had it on for a minute I'm like I feel like such a poser like you know going to school and being like um those aren't real piercings no I love it so much I love it I like when you had all the spikes in it you had like spike ones i miss those i kind of want to bring them back but it's, it's like so the hoops are so iconic i don't think yeah I they can. are great i love i love all of your like you had nails too that were like really for your for your prom i think <gasps> yeah 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 what were those on though oh my gosh this is so funny i went to michael's and i found this bag of just like broken up gems and i covered my fingers and nails glue and i just dipped it in and it was just like rocks <sighs> like they were thick it was so iconic i told I you i was it. almost gonna dress as you i was gonna wear the pink oh fringe dress i have it in there i was like oh, maybe i'll wear this but then you said you're wearing socks i'm like let me match your if vibe I I knew I so would have brought my prom dress because uh, I haven't been able to wear it since. It was such a cute dress. Oh my gosh, I spent so much on it. And he never rewore it. Because I know when Dallas was out, he was saying he wore he rewore his Brian Hearns one for like an event. It was like a red outfit that yeah. he wore. So you should rewear it for something See, like an event. If I get invited to an event, I so will, but I like uh, I don't get invited. <laughs> You got I went these... to like one White Fox event and then like Ugh. that's more than I have been invited to. You get invited. <laughs> I want to go to a red carpet so bad. Like and a you movie premiere. Go? You never get invited to no. this? No. Wait, but I see every TikToker at like Cannes Film Festival right. with Austin Butler. Right. Like, I'm like, where is mine? I feel like it's because wow. I don't live in LA, honestly. I think the LA and I think the management thing too. Right, yeah. But yeah. maybe you should meet you at a management company. I mean, I, I, I'm, like, in the process of signing to a new one, and she's yeah. honestly really good. It's through Homemade, and, like, they honestly kill it. Like, you know Lorray. Yeah. That's what he's signed to. Okay. Yeah, so, you and know, he yeah. seems to be living pretty good, oh, so yeah, I'm, like, he's bougie. And right. too, he told me his agency is, like, bougie. The one he was here with, he was, like, bougie. Oh, my God, yeah, he signed to, like, CAA. I yeah, was, like, holy something shit. crazy like they that. They denied me. <laughs> Oh, really? Well, yeah. they're huge. They're, like, ginormous. Yeah, they're, like, they were mainstream. Like, um, actually, we're going to wait on this. And I was like, okay. Wait, really? Did they tell you that? Yeah. We so had, you- like, five meetings, and they were like, yeah, no. Five? Yeah. Wait, why did you have five? And then the final one, they're just like, no, thank you. Yeah, because I think they were like, you're not good at acting. And I was like, I'm an influencer, not an actor, babe. Like, oh, yeah. were, you, were they going to put you out for like roles and stuff? I think they were trying to, but I was like trying to explain like, no, I want brand deals. Like, mm. you know what I mean? And How do they know you can't act? Did you have to audit like monologue? I had to do a self tape and it was embarrassing. <gasps> what did you do? Oh I my gosh. Self-tapes. I it was love so self tapes. If you guys don't know what self tapes are, it's like literally, it's literally like what it says, like putting yourself on tape mm-hmm. and doing acting and someone reading the lines with you off camera. And they're, they're iconic. I love that they're doing that now. I used to to go in person to audition and stuff so I love that they do self tapes now oh my gosh I cannot do it in person there's yeah, no way yeah I either I was so nervous okay so what was your self tape was it a scene from a movie or it was like a scene from like a show or something and like my part was that like we were having this like Hunger Games themed thing and like I was the leader of it and I was like at midnight we all start go get them or something like that oh and it was like God. this whole thing of like <laughs> hyping them up and like our names are gonna be carved into trees and I thought I killed it but apparently they didn't I wanna see it so bad I it's love so something funny. it probably was good honestly it's honestly like agencies and managers it's like it's just like if someone doesn't like you then they do it but someone else at the agency could like be obsessed with you and love you you know right, what I mean that's the thing my manager was telling me like a lot of these people from this agency like they're favorites like if they don't watch you on TikTok they don't wanna oh, sign for you for sure I was like okay damn get somebody that does that like, yeah no you will find someone that will I'll be like oh no this girl like you have to you just to find right. that person that likes you right which has like been my whole life like no one's like me and then finding that one oh. person that does is like oh thank god you know yeah it's but so it, stupid i'm like thankful to your generation because i we i talked about this on my on a hot topics mm-hmm. one where it's like the magazines and stuff like that like the photographers are like 20 years old and yeah. so they're referring me because they're like watch me so i think it's cool so i'm really like appreciative of like gen z because like my generation couldn't care less about me they're like she's trash whatever but what? this new generation that's becoming the artists and the influencers they're like no you need trash oh, we, love, like, you. Yeah, yeah, so we love you yeah we love you i'm thankful i'm grateful so so let's talk about that because we were talking about the generational differences. Oh, yeah. What was it? We were going to say something. Was, do you remember at the beginning of this? Like, what were we oh, talking I'm about? I'm scared of Jen Alpha making okay, fun of me. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. are you at the end of Gen Z? Um, do you I know think, where it ends? I don't know. I'm 2004. So like, oh, okay. Uh, that must be at the end, I would I think. I think so, yeah. So I'm just so scared that they're going to like clown me, like Gen Alpha. And I'm scared yes. to be like the older generation. Like, I don't know who's scared. Yeah, you will be. And it's going to be awful because it, like, it's like millennials get so much hate on TikTok right now. I like, you see, see all yeah. those TikTokers being like, millennials being like, this is what I'm going to do. I know. <laughs> it's like, is that how we like, talk? I'm like, Gen Z, <laughs> let's chill because it'll be our turn soon. Uh, like, pump the brakes, isn't y'all.
My daughter's generation alpha, so I'm hoping they're going to be nice and we raise them so they don't make fun of people. But yeah, I, I don't feel think like that's going to happen. <laughs> you guys, like your generation is going to be like the best parents like ever. I think like, so. For sure. For yeah, sure. I think we were like traumatized by like our parents, like yeah. parents not being around. So we're like, we're trying, you know, we're really making the effort. Yeah, no, millennials for sure. Yeah. Great parents. I think Gen Z. I, I can't even know. imagine Gen Z as parents. Do you see that one There's TikToker? No I think his name is, I, don't, I can't think of his name right now. He always talks about Gen Z's if they got kidnapped. <gasps> I, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. And he's, he's so like, oh funny. my god, like, why do you guys serve? <laughs> like, let me out here. Are you flirting with Literally, me? <laughs> I love him so much. I like him too. And I'm like, that's so, you guys are just, there's so, I don't know how to describe you guys. It's a lot, it's wild. You guys are like, I feel wild, like we take everything sure. unserious. Very unserious, yeah. which is like good. Yeah. But also chaotic. I, every, so chaotic. every Gen Z person I meet is very chaotic, but in like yeah. a great way. In a great way, but it's like, but I how don't do you, know. Yeah, are we gonna have doctors? Are we gonna have lawyers? Right, like, I don't want you putting a needle in me. <laughs> Yeah, like, I think we're just gonna have influencers. Literally, <laughs> wait, that's like so true though. Yeah, I feel like every Gen Z person, everyone's an influencer on TikTok. And again, it's so great because you make so much money. It's right. like such an easy job, and I love that for everyone. But it does scare me. Like, do people like not? Do you know? Do you have any friends that are like in college to be like a lawyer or a doctor? Surprisingly, yeah, I have one friend okay, who's in college good. to be an anesthesiologist. Perfect, which okay. is like amazing. We have one then. But that's it. <laughs> yeah. Anesthesiologists are the best too. They put you to sleep. Oh it my feels gosh. So good. Have you ever had surgeries? <gasps> I had a lazy eye surgery and it's coming back and I might go blind in my eye. Wait, what? <laughs> First of all, wow, it's amazing. They like fixed it. So you had oh, a lazy yeah. eye your whole life? Well, I was four. I had it, yeah, when I was born. And then I was like five or six. They like got a laser and moved my eye back. Oh. And it was supposed to like work forever or like for a while. And I went to the eye doctor because my eyes like, when I take my contacts out, it goes all the way to the side. Like... It's what? so bad. Oh it's my gosh. horrible. And so I went to the doctor and they were like, yeah, if it gets worse, like you could go blind, you have to go into surgery. And yeah. So, so I have to another the surgery. surgery. Not yet. Oh. I'm so really scared. What does that mean for eye surgery? Because you have to keep your eyes open. You can't be put under, right? Oh no, I get put under. Yeah. They put me under and then it's just like a laser or something they, they do. They open it for you? I think so. And oh my yeah, God. it's like a whole thing. And I remember you have to wear an eye patch for like two weeks. That's why I don't want to get it. Like, how am I going to make TikToks? That's with like, no, you would look so cool. How are they going to do my makeup? <laughs> You have to stop up those series before. No, they're going to put an eyelash on my band-aid. That's not with everything. Have Honestly. a little eye patch glam. Oh, my God. A little pirate moment. That'd be cute. Oh, wait. Jessica Simpson got LASIK, and I remember on her show, she had her, like, little patches on her eye, and she was just, like, walking around, like, That's couldn't so see. Scary. No, it's terrifying. I can't see. I'm so blind. I should get LASIK, but I'm so terrified of it. Like, oh I don't. God, like, I don't like anything coming in my eye. I can't have an eyelash curler, nothing, so I don't, I don't know how people do Wait, do you wear it. contacts? No. <gasps> I'm just blind. I can't you, see. Are yeah, you really? I can't. Yeah. I can't get a mint. Is it because you can't get them in? Exactly. Yeah, I can't get them in. I'm blind. Like, I have to wear glasses oh when I drive. Yeah. Wait, that makes me so sad. I know. I can't see anyone. I'm always just like, like, now I can see your face, but like over there, I can't see, can't see. I know. No. Yeah, when I oh date people, I like, have no idea what they look like until they get really close. <laughs> it's like a surprise. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It's a really surprise. I'm like, I can't see anything. Yeah, I'm really blind, but. Oh my yeah. God. But, the la- but, you're, but you don't have the lazy eye coming back. You just said you could go blind because. Because the lazy eye could get so bad that it makes me go blind. Because my lazy mm. eye is completely back. When I take my contact out, like, all the way to Oh, wow. Yeah, it's bad. It's Have really you ever bad. shown that on TikTok? Um, I don't think so. That would be a TikTok. Honestly, yeah, that would be a out, really like, good t- one. Guys, surprise. <laughs> I feel like you're the person who would do that. I feel like oh, you would care. I so would. And I so would. It's I so bad, it. though, because when I, like, stay at Guys' house, I'll always sleep in my contacts because I'm like, you cannot see oh, this. no. Yeah. Do, do you have, like, soft ones or hard ones? Um, soft ones. Do so you have hard like, ones? Yeah, the hard ones you have to, like, take out every day. Do you, take, you don't take them out every day? No, I do. Okay. Wait. Yeah, there's, I don't know. My mom calls them hard <gasps> contacts. There's hard lenses and soft lenses. Are they actually, like, hard? Yeah, I think so. I'll throw up everywhere. And they're like in a case. They're like in a case. Or I don't know. I don't wear contacts, but she's always like, these are hard lenses. I need soft lenses. I'm like, I don't I know I never that want those near me. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That idea oh scares me God. so much. Wow. Oh. Okay, so you had surgery. Were you put under for it? Yeah. Yeah. I Anastasia. was like really young too. Yeah. And then I remember oh. I woke up and I plucked all my eyelashes out. Like, Oh, oh, just because it was like, you were I don't know what was wrong with me. Or, something? or yeah. not high, but from the anesthesia. <laughs> Like I anesthesia was, makes I you a little loopy. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I don't know if they could give that to kids because it is kind of like a drug, right? I don't know. Literally, like I was high you, at six. Like, wow. why is this legal? Yeah, that is kind of weird. <laughs> I didn't think they could. I, I, don't, I have no idea. Maybe it's obviously legal, but <gasps> oh my gosh, wait! But I've never really like thought about that. making you high. Like anesthesia is kind of like a drug, right? Yeah, and like the other drugs that the like the painkillers, like they're gonna oh, were you on, did you take painkillers? I as think a kid? so. Oh my god, wait! <gasps> I feel like I maybe have too as a kid. Oh yeah, it was um um um. Oh my gosh, what is it called? Vicodin. Vicodin. As a child, <laughs> Vicodin is the craziest, Vicodin. most addictive one. Yeah. What? Mm-hmm. At six years old. I'm pretty sure that's what they gave oh me. God. I know I was given it like for period cramps too. Like, what? At like 14. Oh my God. 
God, that's yeah. crazy. <laughs> wow, yeah, Indiana's that, wild. It worked, though. <laughs> it but worked. you didn't get addicted to it or anything like that. That's um, pretty good. There was, like, a few days where I was like, you need it. Ah, that tastes real good right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it's I never cramped. But I'm so scared of pills because there was one time, this is so scary, my mom had a pill container in the um, uh, kitchen, and so it's, like, 2 a.m., and I have a headache, so I think that it's ibuprofen, and I take it. It was, like, these really, 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 really strong pain pills. I took two of them. I, like, apparently should have like died <gasps> my throat started to close what? up and i couldn't breathe i got so loopy and i just passed out oh my god and i wake up the next morning fine but like i it was like a lethal amount like it was you so were much. fine you didn't have to get pumped or anything yeah, like no, that i just woke up but I, I my throat was closing up <gasps> i facetimed my boyfriend i was like i can't breathe he's like calm down i just chugged some water i was like spinning i was like whoa oh it was scary since that day i'm oh, like i don't good. even take ibuprofen that much now i'm scared no pills scare me too in general like, yeah, even so scary. Section, i'm like don't give me any pills like yeah, I, just, no. I, I get addicted to them and like the like you said like that feeling well you had like a trauma experience so yeah, I was sense. like, you're like, I don't want this to happen ever again. Ever again. So oh. I was just like, I'm addicted to vaping and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll be I done. Guess, that's what I'm saying. If there's like one addiction, I guess it's not like the worst. Okay, so where did the pink come from? Because you love pink. Like you have you had pink eyebrows, you had I think <gasps> pink freckles, you had pink hair, pink Honestly, palm dress. It's so weird. Pink I, graduation. I love pink, but like I don't it's not my favorite color. I love orange. <laughs> oh, oh my god, Elwoods would be deeply disturbed. Whoever said orange is the new pink is deeply disturbed. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Orange couldn't be a worse color than that. It reminds me of like the sun. Oh, the sun is yellow. But I like, mean, at least in pictures. <laughs> but like, imagine like a sunset, and it's just like this little orange, and it's like just okay. like a happy color, like to a me. warmth color. <gasps> yeah, like it just makes you feel all warm. You're like, orange get out. Is just, yeah. <laughs> when I see orange, I'm like, Bleh. you've never worn orange though. Like I look through all your TikToks, I know, it and looks so bad on me. That's yeah, why. orange like is never good for anyone. Honestly, orange and green. True. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I love pink though, because it's just like an it girl color. Like Definitely. everybody loves a good pink. Yeah, because yeah. your prom dress was pink. Oh my god, I Graduation love it. Graduation yeah. outfit was pink. Your yeah. shoes. So so you just like like the aesthetic. You're I like, love the aesthetic yeah. of pink, but it's not my favorite color. And the pink eyebrows were just so impulsive. Oh, they were everything though. You did pink freckles too, right? Yeah, I made like my whole face pink. Uh, <laughs> oh, I love it. So you were just like on a little pink kick. Oh, yeah. I had to do it and everybody okay. hated it, but I loved it. Oh, I love pink anything. Pink aesthetic, pink hair, pink all of it. It's oh, like my gosh. So my Have favorite. you ever dyed your hair? No. Because <gasps> my hair has always been so fragile. Oh. So I always wanted to go pink, but I know they say you can like never go back to blonde. Have you done? Well, you did. Oh, yeah. But did you do like manic panic or was it actual like I dye? I did like, uh, it was, I'm pretty sure it was like splat or good dye young or something like so that. So it just came out. Oh, yeah. Well, oh. it like faded over time and I did one bleach back to blonde. This looks so good. And this is extensions. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, yeah. All the brown is fake. It looks so good. I love the dimension. It looks so good. No, yeah. I have an appointment on the first. Like, I kind of want to get like pink undertones. I think I want to do like instead of brown pink, like a pink under. Oh, I love that. That, really that would look really cute. Yeah. But you don't like pink. It's not your favorite color. Just the aesthetic. Okay. I know. It's so weird. It's so weird. <laughs> pink is my favorite color. I love pink. It makes me so happy. Pink looks so good on you, but too. But also, well, the thing is, I don't really think so. It's actually, like, ironic. Like, I love pink. I just don't think it's, like, like I'd like to actually wear, like, neutrals and blacks. Really? Yeah. Because I just don't think it looks great on me. I think it's, like, so fun, though. It's, like, the aesthetic. It is. It's Elle Woods, like, the Barbie. shirt and the Uggs, I'm, like, well, I'm you obsessed. said pink sweatpants and pink crop tops, so I'm like, let me just throw this on together. <laughs> and it's so good. It's so good. I couldn't find anything. I was like, let me fi- figure it out because I was like, I didn't know what to wear. I tried to match. Like I said, I tried to like match the vibes. And but I love that. Yeah, I love no, matchy, I went to matchy. Target and I was like, what would be like comfortable? This is Target? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All I Target. I Target every day and I never see clothes <gasps> like this. Really? Yeah, no, I think I got like the last pair and they were oh like, oh my God. I literally, oh, they're so good. I, I love them. I love Target. I, that's where I get all my clothes, basically. <gasps> me too. I like yeah. try not to go shopping though because it like stresses me out. Wait, why? I hate spending money. <laughs> oh my God. I hate it I can't so relate much. to that. I know. What? I, I wish I liked to be like, I don't know. I like to buy vacations and that's it. I won't buy clothes. I hate buying materialistic so things. So smart. I oh, hate it. You're I hate it. so lucky you have that. I have like an actual shopping addiction where I'm like sick, where I can't stop spending. Oh, really? Oh my God, I can just like buy purses. I actually had to stop and like honestly being married help because I was like sneaking bags in. I'm like, oh, I have a problem. I was like sneaking, hiding them. I was like, it's a sneaking bag. I was like, really? <laughs> no, I've had that for years. Oh man, it's bad. So I, it's, I've curbed it a little bit, but you're so smart to spend it on vacations. And oh, that's what I try. Yeah. Oh, I just, I good. love experiences, but it's like one thing. Like if I do buy something expensive, like let's say I go buy like a cute little shirt, then I won't stop. Like if I start it, I won't stop. So oh, okay. I have to like really restrict myself. Addictive. That's why I don't do it. Wow. What's the most expensive thing you bought? Uh, probably my taxes. <laughs> 
mood. <laughs> Me paying off taxes every year for like the past three no, years. No, literally, probably my taxes or oh, like good my for car. You. My car was expensive. What do you have? Um, I have a Ford Bronco. Oh, I love her so is much. Is this the new It Girl car? I've seen everyone <gasps> beating Broncos. Oh, so yeah, Brooke got one. Yeah, I was I, like, I, I kind of want one. I was like, this is. Do you have a big one like that? You have um, a big. Mine's a, it's like a heritage, so it's kind of smaller, but it's baby blue, and I love it. Is it vintage? Is it like one of those vintage Broncos? Oh my god, I wish it's like a 2023, I think. Oh, so it's boo. new. Okay, so you have like a new one. Yeah, because I like the new ones, and I like those vintage ones you see. You know, like <gasps> I don't know who has dream a, car. Yeah, dream car. Love Shack yeah. Fancy has like a baby pink vintage Bronco. Oh my god. And I went to inquire. I was like, how much is this? Like three hundred thousand. I was like, oh, okay, three hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> it was like two twenty two or something like that. Vintage cars, crazy. Yeah, it's insane. I really want one though. I love them so much. Oh my gosh, you with a pink vintage Bronco would be iconic. <sighs> I would love it. I just traded in my pink Rolls Royce though because you traded it. No I way. traded. Actually, I just gave it back because it was so. I was. We have a second baby coming, and the two car seats weren't gonna fit in the back. Oh it was my also god. like five thousand dollars a month for the lease. So I was like, okay, for the car. Yeah. Oh my god. That's on top of the Range Rover in the Jeep. So I was like, you know what? Let me be a little more responsible. <gasps> That's sixty thousand dollars a year I was spending on this like lease, and I love it. But like Malibu won't appreciate it. You know that she just yeah. wants. We're gonna, like gonna get a minivan. We're just like in that. Oh wait, a pink minivan. <laughs> I mean, that would be iconic. I oh know. my gosh. For our gender reveal, I was like, we should do like if it's pink, it's a girl. It's a boy. Like get a like a <gasps> color one because they have like Porsches now that are pink that are like frosted berry. Oh, and they're so iconic. Have you seen that? Oh, they're so good. I've I never want one. loved a Porsche before, but I was like, I want this car. But oh also, my god, not good for a family. <laughs> oh my god, get, get a Porsche. Oh, oh my I'll god, live I so would. You. They're not that expensive either. I mean, they're a hundred thousand, which is expensive, but nothing but, like, crazy. They're, like, really nice cars. Yeah. Like the one guy that I was messing with, he had like so many Porsches. <laughs> the one that and I was like, you out of this room. Yeah, <laughs> Girl, you can pick out of so many things. It makes me sad because I feel like unnecessarily so. And by men, by your I dad, know. by this guy. I'm like, guys, what I did hate I do? that. One day you're gonna have this mansion, and no one can kick you out of it. You'll oh be my like, gosh, that's I'll the goal. Kick you out of this. That's why I live alone. I'm like, get out, babe. Isn't that the best feeling? Yeah, I, I love, love it. it so much. I am scared because I moved to LA. I'm moving with Emma, and yeah. I love Emma, but I don't know how we're gonna function because I've always. Oh. I mean, lived I've alone. lived alone for like the past eight months. So it's I, like I never lived with a roommate either. I was yeah. always like that too. I was like, I guess because you guys are close and you know each other. Yeah, exactly. When we go on vacation like this, like we are never tired of each other. Re- that's, yeah, okay, then that's a sign. I think if you when you travel with someone, you know how that's gonna yeah, be. Yeah, exactly. And like yeah. I, I genuinely like in the eight months that I've known her, I've never been this close with anybody oh, in my life. Yeah. Okay, so I think you guys will be fine. I think when you're that close with someone, I think you're good. But I'm yeah. the same way as you. I'd be like very much like yes, like I just know. I love my own space. You know, yeah. like I love it. Get like a. Are you guys gonna get like a two bedroom or a townhouse? House or yeah, I, I want to find a place. place that might have like an upstairs and a downstairs. So it's like smart. one upstairs, one downstairs, your own yeah. space, whatever. Yeah, yeah especially because you like film videos and stuff like that. Exactly. I do want a beauty room, so maybe like a three bedroom. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, I think that's a good like investment because you like work right. out of it. You can write it off. Speaking of taxes, <gasps> you know, especially if like you have two de- separate rooms, you can write off a room and oh my God. yeah, that'd be, that's gonna, oh, I'm so excited for you guys. I'm really excited. I'm really excited uh, to live here. Wait, yeah, how long like, have look, you lived here? Oh my gosh, since I was 18. Like literally the day I left Illinois, like the day of high school graduation, I was like, bye. Didn't even Are say you anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so since 2006, and I've only been back to Illinois once. So <gasps> yeah, and I, I, it's like scary at first. We were talking about it. How it's like a little bit of a culture shock, but wow, I wouldn't live anywhere else now i'm just like i like love it i mean it can be like people are moving out whatever but it, i just it's it's great so you think you're gonna see her forever then yeah i think so <gasps> i can't even imagine anywhere wow. else i want to live that's crazy because i feel yeah. like everybody's like i need to get out of la everyone is doing that now yeah. what where are they going like i don't want to go to nashville new york everybody's talking about new oh, york no not new york it's no so to new york, crowded but that's so cr- i love new york i love broadway right. but no i don't know could you live there uh, I don't know. I like love driving, and you can't drive in New York. Like you, you love literally driving, can't. You drive. don't drive. That's like a good combination, though. <laughs> right? Yeah. So you love to drive. Oh my gosh, I'll drive all day, every day. Okay, so actually, you love LA because it is so much driving, and I actually do too. I like to listen to like podcasts and like long yeah, drives exactly. and stuff, or just anything. So I think you'll, I think you'll like, it. I think you'll like it, honestly. And even people who have been here and say they're over, it, I think they still kind of like secretly like love LA. Yeah. They would never actually move away. That's what I hope. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't want everybody to leave as soon as I get here. I'll be like, Damn. I don't think so. People are like <laughs> saying it and stuff, but I think in general people are staying or- I, I genuinely feel like there's no place like LA like yeah. I've been to so many places there's not a place you're like an LA it. girly for I sure think I am. yeah and it's just like it's just a good place for people I don't know I don't know how to explain it I just like love it yeah it's just it's I feel like five years here and I'll be I'll be good and then maybe I'll get stuck. I don't oh, know. really? Where I, would you else would you move to after five years? I really years? like Florida. I really do love really? Florida. I really love it. What it's, area are you in now? I'm in Tampa. Tampa's, a, Tampa's cute. It's cute. It's yeah. just like Oh, I don't know. I feel so homey there. Like, yeah. I love it. I, you know what? I've never been a Florida. 
I've never been to Florida. I'm not going to slander Florida, but I just like always kind of scared me because I always think like crazy stuff happens there. Like yeah. in the news, you always hear about yeah, there's like a game you can play where you like Google like your birthday and like Florida to see like what oh crazy gosh, yeah. shit happens. It's insane. <laughs> there's like always something happening. Yeah. Oh, I wait. Know. I have a question for you. Okay. I, lo- okay. I love when people ask me questions. I have, oh have, so many que- I have so many questions on here for you. I got to like one of them. I was like, wow. And I love it. I it's my favorite thing. No, oh I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. So. Out of my glow ups, which one has been your least favorite? Ooh, oh, least! <laughs> my God, I was going to ask you your least favorite collab, but all right. Um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know it's not that you look. Oh, see, I don't want to. I don't want to say any of this because it's like it's not. It's never that you look bad. It's just like I can't say it. I cannot say it. I will literally get canceled. Wait, blurt. We'll blurt the name then. Should um, we? Because I might agree. Okay, literally blurt. Blurt. <gasps> no way. <laughs> my least favorite was blurt the name. Okay. Really? Yes. It was no. so bad in person. Wait, really? It, it was so, so bad. It was so bad. It was so bad. I was walking away like, oh my god, gagged. Yeah. This is the makeup, not the person. Yeah, no, because they were amazing, but the makeup was. What person? This whole interview is gonna be bleeped. What person was the worst? This one might shock I you. I whisper it. It's like we can bleep it. Probably like. <laughs> she ghosted me after. Oh. Ghosted. I was asking for like certain things from the. Oh clap and I just never got sent it. it completely ghosted me and I was like ah. did, did they ever post it they posted it but like I was asking for certain like content pieces and just never sent it completely never ignored heard from the person again. never heard from them again and like what? Yeah. oh my god I do don't think? know why I literally don't Ooh. know why and also because like maybe blurt this whole sentence but like yeah. <laughs> it wasn't even them doing the makeup they had other makeup artists doing it <laughs> yeah they were oh, doing it that's the they were doing it. I feel like we can scare, we sleep that in because I don't think anyone will know <laughs> I want to keep that in so bad. Because it's not- watch it, yeah. Okay, okay. Probably, we probably can keep it in. Yeah, they like, they had somebody else really like doing most of it, most of the work. I, you know, but it's not the first person I've heard that's done. That's why I'm saying keep that in because I think that's the real tea. It's not the first time yeah. I've heard that. Even just on like YouTube videos and stuff like that, I definitely know people because I work with so many glam people and they like tell me they go in and like correct it. But anyways. Yeah. <gasps> so that was like really crazy. I was like, whoa. Like, that's crazy that was the tea and i was like i feel like you might get like caught like i don't know like i thought people were gonna like call them out but like nobody really did but i was like yeah it's someday someone because you know what one of the glam people or something will say something yeah because my glam people will tell me stuff and it's like there's certain people that are a little more messier than others yeah it's like i mean nobody i met was objectively rude but like some people were just like standoffish or something and they like didn't hit me back after like very much yeah yeah i loved brad mono i think brad mono was like one of my favorites yeah you guys kind of like have like similar vibes like like you look like you should be related or something oh my gosh and genuinely not sponsored yeah. x mondo is the best hair brand ever <laughs> love oh, yes. on products i don't oh, even know God. it's in stores oh really he's so rich right, really <laughs> is he so- bougie? have you gone to his house or a salon or where is he i don't even we know went to a studio in new york okay, he had his own little ah! studio i was like wow, babe good like for him so impressive wow that's yeah. so cool no i love i love all your clubs i love seeing the transformations Thank of it all. did you do one with was it antonio <gasps> oh my god yeah. she was like my favorite you, i love her i loved how similar you guys looked it was like it was unreal you look like the people you like transform that one I know, was really good I feel good like too. I have a very transformable face yeah <laughs> no that's a that's such a cool gift though I love it it's really I love fun cosplaying makeup I just love it I think it's so <gasps> right? fun it's like getting me into cosplay I'm like yeah. who am I gonna be next oh yeah have you ever done that have you dressed in like cosplay like costumes as a character oh my or anything? gosh I Are never into really it? have I would do it five nights at Freddy's <laughs> Was that the Jack Black one? Yeah, Bad Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> I love that video. I'm in my FNAF era right now, for I'm sure. Seen, yeah. I love that. I think I'm a little late to the trend, but I love it so much. I love that you dressed up as Chica, right? Recently. Yes. Yeah, yes. I just saw the picture on Instagram. Yeah, I looked a little crazy, but I tried I love my it best. So I, much. I didn't have my cupcake. I didn't have my full thing, but I only watched the movie literally like a couple weeks ago, and I was like, I'm obsessed with it. It's I went so to good. the movie, or I did go to like a premiere thing for Five Nights at Freddy's, and oh my God, it was crazy. With the, with the cast? We but didn't it was, stay oh, long. Wait, what do you mean? You just saw the movie and bounced? It was like, like really 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 crowded it was at universal oh. and it was just so packed and we got in the room and it was just like this long line i was so hungry so i just like walked in looked around for 10 minutes and left i was like i can't do this i oh, want to freak out like stay for the yeah, movie no. yeah oh you just went to like the event oh yeah, man yeah. that sounds so fun though i know i feel like that's so your vibe they should have invited you i get invited to nowhere so by the way you're young and getting invited i get invited to nowhere and that's okay oh I'm, I'm fine with it i'm definitely like an outcasted like social media person but i'm here you know i stick you're around. so popular though <laughs> you're so popping though i appreciate that you guys no, make course. me feel so good about it because I like love I really do people who blow up so quickly I'm always just really in awe of it's like how is it for you like are you like oh like I'm famous or are you just like oh it doesn't really make sense to me like why do people like me or do you get it well 
first, I just wanted to let you know, Trisha, you are literally so, like, iconic. I feel like you don't understand, like, how much you've done for social media and people. Like, you are truly a, like, gem. Like, you oh are a gem. God, thank and, you. And, like, I love you. Like, genuinely. That makes me, like, and, cry. You guys are so yeah, happy no, you, up so much. Um, you deserve everything that you have, oh like, gosh, genuinely. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. That makes me want to cry. That means so much. Thank you. Well, of course. And no, I don't feel like <laughs> No? <laughs> really? So you don't feel like this is what I meant to be? Like, I feel oh. like sometimes I'm like, I was meant to be a star. I feel like I was meant to do this. <laughs> But, like, I don't feel, like, it doesn't feel real. Like, you don't I guess. feel, okay, so, like, when you go and, like, that one celebrity that reached out to you, are you like, oh, my God, this is, like, not real? Or are you like, oh, this makes sense because I'm such a big, because you I'm are like, a big deal I'm on like, TikTok. it makes no sense. Like, I don't feel, wow. like, people are like, oh, my God, like, I don't know. Like, a lot of guys are like, whoa, but, like, that's so cool. I'm like, I don't know. I just feel normal. Like, yeah, I, that's I, I, good. I definitely don't, I didn't let it get to my head at all. Like, it just doesn't feel real. I think that's the best way. When you go out in public, do people stop you? All the time. Wow. All the it's time. done, like, click for you. Like, yeah, oh, wait, no, I'm, like, famous. It's weird because I dreamt of this my whole life. Like, mm-hmm. I never had a plan B. Like, I never, nothing. Like, I was, like, from seven years old, I was making YouTube videos. Like, here's a toy review. And I, yeah. it was what I wanted to do my whole life. And now that it happened, I'm just, like, I don't know how to process That's it. That's crazy. <laughs> That's what's why. Okay, you were born 2004. Yeah. And so YouTube started in 2005. So it's, like, literally your whole life my YouTube's whole life. been around. Yeah. Oh, I haven't even thought about that. So what's the age you started watching if you were making it at seven? So young. Like, I was so young, just, like, always watching videos, like, always watching people. And, like, it just, I was, like, so that's why I feel like oh. I know what to do. Like, I don't know. So smart. So you just, like, watch people. Who were you watching at that young of age? Oh, my gosh. I really like the beauty world. Like, the beauty world, I loved watching that. I loved Tana Mojo so much. That was, like, your ultimate. Yeah. Like, I was, like, very much, like, all areas of YouTube I would, like, watch. Wow. But, like, my favorite thing that I watch right now is, you know, Spill Sesh? Oh my god, we're obsessed with spill sesh. I feel I like I just them. quote all her videos. I have watched every single spill sesh video oh, ever. Wild. The day I got verified on YouTube, I was like, I'm commenting on her video so oh she my. sees it. I was like, <laughs> I, I love you. a video on you? No, she hasn't yet. I think because you're not problematic, so you right. know what I mean? She only comments on people being like messy and stuff. I love her. Oh. Maybe she's like, come on, spill sesh. Spill sesh. <laughs> she's actually you. really nice. She's like, DM me on TikTok. She's oh DM Oscar. She's actually very nice. Um, and the face reveal was great. And like the fact that she worked for DMZ. I actually am curious about oh that because I love drama. I feel like I'm a drama channel now on with my hot <laughs> topics. But like, I love, I love her. I love her. So <laughs> you and her on the podcast would be so good. Like, yeah, I would, you I, have I would so love it. so much to talk about. I don't know. I, I'm a very like jealous, like weird person <laughs> too. too. Like if something kind of makes me like, I don't know, some type of way I get weird yeah, for a no, minute. I'm like the same way, but like I also like if somebody makes me jealous, I kind of just want to like be closer to them. So it's like yeah. I don't know, it's like so weird. <laughs> yeah, I get that way too. I get that way because it's like yeah, kind of befriending. I don't know. Yeah, befriending someone that you like like because then it's like more like you're inspired by them. The creative right. rubs off. Opposed you know? to like jealous. Yeah, totally. Because it's like not jealous in a bad way, but I was very much like that of Tana, where it's like she's the, she's like this young version right. of like oh she's wild and crazy, like a young version of like me or whatever. And then you kind of like oh man, the young person's like getting me out or whatever. So there was maybe a little bit of jealousy on my side yeah. when she first started, but then like. Yeah, once you become friends and know how, like, wonderful and sweet they are. And then also, right. like, then they, be like, inspire you. Like you said, like, Tana, now that I've, like, become close with her, I was like, wow, she's actually, like, this really great person that I just want to be, exactly, like. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, so I think it's always better to go that way, but I can be, I it's can be like jealous. It's, like, the weirdest, like, mindset to have. So it's, like, I don't want to be jealous of them, but, like, I'm just, I yeah, can't, I can't do it. it's something, like, in you. Because I'd I'd be jealous of, like, girl, random girls DMing him that he doesn't even know. You know, I'd be like, oh, my, you know. Right. And it's, like, weird. It's, like, a weird thing. Even, I don't know. I feel like now I would still be like that. He doesn't DM me. He doesn't even take pictures with girls because he's like, I, don't want you to <laughs> I think that's helped my jealousy, though, because now I don't get jealous. Obviously, if, like, girls yeah. come up to him or whatever, I don't care. But, um, yeah, I think it's just, like, I think it's in your bones. And you don't want to be that way, but it's just. No, literally, it's, like, why can't I just, like, be happy with where I'm at? But it's, like, I feel like I could be at the top of, like, everything and still be, like, but that girl, like. Right. Oh, I think, I it's think so. It's so stupid. I want to get over it. I don't yeah. know. No, there's definitely, like, young influencers that I see. I was, like, oh, that could have been me. Literally, like, Charlie. That. Like. Oh, for sure. Oh or even God. like Michaela because she is like not the traditional, you know, she has like different body types and stuff. Yeah. Like, that could have been me at that age, you know, whatever, uh, whatever. So I think, I don't know. No, I'm the same way. Like yeah. Alex Earl, I'm like, that oh, should I mean, be me. Oh, oh, that's oh my God, she DM'd me. <gasps> What she say to collab? Yeah, and then she hasn't responded since. Oh, <laughs> right. but she DM'd you first. Um, I, that's ooh, big. She might have. I think so. Yes, maybe. Oh my god! Because I went live I and Alex. everybody spam her, and then she was like, "Hey, let's do it" or something like that, and I was like, "Let's do it." And she lives in Miami. Like I could oh, drive there. Yeah, I hasn't responded. She's since, in like though. a big penthouse too. Oh, my oh god, man, she's so rich. And she has a podcast. Yeah, she is. I mean, and she's just like gorgeous and beautiful. And popped and, out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm so jealous. Yeah, <laughs> like that's like, no. I'm so jealous. No, she's. She's, like, killing it. I know. When I see, like, girls like you and Alex, like, to me, I'm more, like, happy for them because I could never be you girls. Even at 18, I was never that. You
I have to compete with them. You know what I mean? Right. Especially in this industry. It's like, yeah. it's so competitive. I feel like it's so competitive when everybody's like, Oh, they're the it girl. I'm like, I want to be the it yeah, girl. Yeah. Like, you, you know are. what I mean? Oh, I, I don't think, think so. Which is so much. You know what? Yeah. I think there's like Monet. There's all these different it girls. Oh my God. Monet just follow me back. I could I, cry. I love her. I feel like yeah. I definitely DM'd her to be on the podcast for sure. <gasps> Cause she, she like so commented sometimes on my thing and I'm like, I love you. She but. would be iconic on but the she's podcast. she's like not problematic. I feel like I need to get like, I need, I don't know. Sometimes like the not problematic people are like, I don't want to get canceled. I saw that you want Gypsy Rose on. <gasps> Do you know her? I am obsessed. <laughs> Me too. Uh, is the, she in Indiana? Is she in a prison? Where is she? She's like in Indiana. Or oh my something. god, she might be. Uh, the I don't after know. the show, I binged the whole thing. Oh, oh my god. my god. You don't so understand good. if you have her on the podcast. You wanna come? <laughs> I'll be, like, in the I'll be in the audience, literally. <laughs> I, I'm working so hard to make that happen. Why do because, I feel like it could? Like, yeah, for real. I just, I feel it. I feel the spirit connection to her. Maybe I, I should write to her. But I'm going to manifest it for you. She's the icon, most iconic ass for she sure. She is such an effing icon. She'll Gypsy be the Rose girl. is yeah. the it girl. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she is the it girl Gypsy for sure. Gypsy Rose is it. Like, uh, wait, so are you going to collab with Tana then? Because you said you were going to. Were you going to do a TikTok or a YouTube or a Yeah, we wanted to do, for Halloween, we wanted to do, like, um, a, like, makeup thing where it's like we become like halloween people like halloween makeup or something oh, okay. but like that didn't work because she's busy love it no she's so like love busy, it so yeah. get it like you're insanely no. rich i love you yeah <laughs> she's busy now she has like yeah. a new boyfriend i think she publicly right. talks about so yeah so yeah. then i messaged her the next time i came to la she was in hawaii yeah. and then i messaged her this time in hawaii she's again. in hawaii she's literally in hawaii yeah. now but yeah. my dream i would love to go on canceled like i oh my oh, god yeah you'd be so good they, yeah it. they have like tiktok they had leo skeppy they have like TikTokers yeah they just had chris olsen on and megan trainer Oh, and yeah. I, I, I know Chris Olsen, so I was like, guys, guys, oh, you do? guys, yeah, we collabed. Oh, wait, what? Mm -hmm. Wait, I did see that. Did he do your, he didn't do your makeup. I did his makeup. That one was probably, like, the most, like, quickest. It took, like, 30 minutes. I felt so awkward, because, like, the guy that Mystery Man was with me oh, for that yes, one. yes, yes. So bad. Wait, so, so bad. you felt pressured, like, you felt rushed by that person? Yeah, like, you're like, and I was go. just, like, it was very awkward. Mystery Man was not making conversation, was making it awkward, and oh. I would, like, message Chris after. I was like, I'm so sorry if that was awkward. Like, this guy's just, like, Oh, weird. was he fine? Was he cool with it yeah, he's like oh no you're so good i was like okay sorry uh, okay yeah. i don't know chris i just follow him he's another one that like blew up so much and i'm just like he's all he's at the Cannes film festival he's everywhere oh i'm just like he's okay so oscars famous. and literally i'm like so crazy i know i know i would love to have him on too i'll see i like i just yeah. love i think tiktokers who become so famous so fast i'm always just like how, how? like yeah. bobby altoff how oh what do you think of her I know. I think you know, know her. Wait, no, no, no. Oh. Wait, don't you not like her? But, or, I mean, you're just like. Uh, I know. I'm such a hater. It's a jealous thing. <laughs> it's a, me that's too, though, jealous. Me too, though. I that's saw her in bed with sure. Drake, and I was like, Oh, I heard she's doing Nicki Minaj this week, and I was like, Are you kidding me? I'm literally, yeah. I was, I was like, I, I can't. Nicki Minaj. Yeah, literally. I was like, Nah. I'm sick. I know. Me too. It really makes it like breaks my heart. It actually makes me like upset. <laughs> I'm so happy in life, like and everything, then you and then that happens. Bobby. I know. I was like, "Are you kidding me?" Oh, she interviewed how? Maluma. I was like, "Oh my god!" Do you like, think she was an industry plant? I don't know. We've talked about this before. What do you think? I don't know. Like, must be, must be. There's no way you get those big interviews. You don't get Drake like that. There's just no way. You and all these Drake. people, Nicki Minaj, Scarlett Johansson, like they're not all like no, they're that's not all like, fans of Bobby Altoff. That's like me all of a sudden collabing with like Courtney Kardashian. Like you know that's what I mean? Like, plausible though, because it's like oh. you're so big and like and, and Courtney collabed with like David Dobrik. She collabs with like all those she people. Did. Yeah, because her son was a big fan, so she would like be in his videos. Kylie was in his videos like back in 2018. You know what my dream is? I want North to do my makeup. Oh like, my North, god! Because there's no, she's on TikTok all the yes, time. Like she is. North, do my makeup. That would be the most iconic thing. That would she is. She's iconic. I really do love North her. But it's so also like iconic. a weird thing where I'm like, oh my god, it's like, it's like I like her too, but it's like, oh my god, it's like a child. It's like kind of weird. No, and she's like post. I, that's one thing. Like if I was, I didn't necessarily grow up on social media yeah. but like could you imagine being that young like literally growing up on yeah, it yeah and having that tiktok at such a young age and just being so young and people loving you and knowing that you're like and this idolizing icon. you at 13 it's very weird like i have that with experience with my daughter when we go out to like barnes noble people be like hi mel but you know they really and they're really nice and excited yeah. but they she doesn't know what to do because she's 14 months <laughs> so she's Please, like wait what that made me want to cry <laughs> yeah so it's a weird it's a weird thing because in one hand you're like oh it's so nice everyone like loves her but yeah. on the other hand like it's kind of weird she's a baby literally like <laughs> Oh my god! But I wait. get it. I get it because of the the Kardashians. Like you do get attached to them. Like I love True. You know, you see them on the show. Right. And you're like they're so cute. And it's so. so weird. Like the influence. It's like just so weird. Oh, the way like North like influences everybody is crazy. Like I found Ice Spice because of North. Like their TikTok collab. I was like, oh, I love oh. who's this person. And I was like, yeah, then became obsessed with Ice Spice. You need to get Ice Spice on. Well, she sent me a DM. She said she sent me a DM. I, did, I sent her a DM first. She followed me. I sent her a DM. I was like, we come on my podcast. Trisha. And she's like, yes. And then I texted her manager. But I think in the hopefully, hopefully. You need 
up as ice spice again when you do it. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Oh, for sure. I have like a long ice spice wig. I want to wear the one that like goes out in her waist. So I love ice spice. I was shocked. I'm like you, where I like DM a lot of people. And yeah. I was shocked when I DM'd her, and I'm like, "Will you come on my podcast?" And she's like, "Yeah, here's my manager's numbers." I was like. Go when so I, I know I would love I would love I would love oh my I, god I, I would, I'm like you I like to just put it out there but right. I spice Nicki Minaj are definitely like and Gypsy Rose <laughs> top three for sure <laughs> that's the craziest top three yeah. <laughs> but it's very this you know they're, they're all it girls yeah, they're, they are it girls they are. imagine like them all making a song together did they have a song where like and we're it girls and we ain't playing tag isn't that like from <gasps> the Barbie yeah, one yeah let's get a Gypsy Rose verse on that oh one. <laughs> A Gypsy Rose song would be <gasps> iconic. She's like explaining the murder case, like <laughs> she's like rap. rapping. I have so many questions for oh you. Oh my god, that is so many. Okay, I had some rapid fire ones too. Oh, oh I'm so ready. Okay, uh, if you weren't an influencer, what would you be doing? Real estate. Oh, <laughs> what a question. Okay, so like selling sunset vibes. Yeah, I've I've always been into like buying properties and stuff like uh-huh. that. So I would love to be like. And this is the bathroom. Oh, you want to show it? Yeah, but I'd be so bad at selling things. Like, <laughs> Wait, why? Who's going to trust me with that? Oh, I think <laughs> so. your energy would be so contagious. You know what I mean? People would just be like, I like this girl. Oh, my God. That's really? what it is. I feel like selling is you have to like the person. And wait, then they just buy whatever. So nice. You could sell me anything. I'd be like, yes. That's why you I can't wait for your product. Whatever oh it is. I'm so excited for you to see it. I'll oh tell my... you once we turn the cameras off okay, what okay, it is. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's so exciting. Yeah, Are excited. you living your dream life now, you think? Oh, for sure. I, I've never felt like an influencer until the past three months. Like, well, wow. well, that's when it like all like blew up. Which yeah, is literally. Crazy. I feel like just like really happy. I'm like so happy. Like Aww. I go to bed crying every night. Genuinely, like oh. very grateful. Like I have amazing people in my life, and amazing like head on my shoulders. I feel. I don't know. I'm very. I'm very effing grateful. You know. Wow. That's, yeah. That's that's so good. I feel like gratitude is like such a key to like success because more things will come for you. Exactly. To be grateful and for. I can promise everybody watching like this is just the start. I have so much planned. I have like an interview for a TV show. <laughs> Like a reality show? Yeah. <gasps> Which like is the goal. Own? Yeah, that's the goal. Yeah. Oh my God. Could oh, you that imagine? Be, oh, your <laughs> energy is so high, so chaotic in the best way. Oh like, God, oh, I you. think that'd be so good. And you're also just like such a sweet girl. Thank you so, so much. So I feel like that's, oh my God, that's going to be so perfect. I feel like that's like where you're calling us. Oh my for gosh, sure. you have to come on the show if it happens. Oh, please. <laughs> please. I would love to. I was oh like, hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do some makeup. Are you actually good at makeup? Um, I feel I mean, like you are. I mean, I feel like I'm really good at like the base of my makeup, like the the like foundation and blush and stuff. Everything else now. <laughs> really? Yeah. I feel like you're good. Like Thank if you don't you. do the freckles and stuff like that, I feel like you're yeah, good. Yeah, and that's the thing is I love the freckles. I've tried without it. I can't do it. Yeah. Like it's I very literally you. can't. Right? Yeah. And it's like I can't stop yeah <laughs> it's like an addiction i'm addicted to vapes and freckles <laughs> <laughs> that should be your brand right there that would be Literally, everything oh my gosh i will vape uh, freckles yeah i love it i think it's because when people do your makeup they don't do the freckles and i'm like oh you look so I know. different i but like request it sometimes and they're like no honey we're switching it up do I'm like, how they do their makeup yeah, i'm like please just like one or two people are so talented at makeup like i i can't do my makeup to save my life oh my God, like, like i have eyeshadow? no idea did you do yeah. yours today no i never i can do my i, I like, can't no even do way. foundation i have no idea how to put it on really yeah i'm really bad at makeup and i watch tutorials i watch my Meredith, I watch all these people and I'm just like, I have no idea how to do it. Honestly, I was like the same way, and that's why like the only thing I could do is like maybe eyeliner. I cannot do found or not foundation. Wait, eyeliner I, is really hard. Oh my gosh, I did eyeliner every day for like three years. Wow. Okay, are you a sneaky good cook? Because you just did a bunch of cooking videos where you set off your smoke alarms. Are you like actually like a good Oh, I'm horrible. You're not. I'm horrible. I only know how to make salmon. Oh my god. So you okay, because I always think like you just say this stuff, but I'm like, no, maybe sneakily. Like sneakily you're good at makeup, sneakily you're good at Yeah, food. no, so bad at <laughs> food. And like kind of bad. mid at makeup I'd say <laughs> that what are you great at what do you think you're like excelling I think I'm so good at bowling and ice skating oh <laughs> really did you random. grow up like as like a figure skater I took ice skating lessons growing up and then recently I got back into it and I'd go ice skating every day for like five hours and I could like do little jumps and stuff really yeah I love ice skating oh, can you do like did you ever see the movie Tanya I'm Tanya with Marco Robbie she's playing Tanya I've Hardy. seen clips on TikTok can you do like the cli- like the what axle jumps <gasps> I don't I think so oh my I think God. I could I really do think I could <gasps> go to an ice skating ring and please film it because I think ice skaters are so talented so when I watch beautiful. them I'm like that's amazing that's so like, cool you're literally gliding on the ice oh, like oh and like their outfits with their tights and they're sparkly that's why i always but wanted the guy who got his wait what oh you didn't see that he was a hockey no. player oh <gasps> yeah but that was like on purpose right that guy kinda, that was on purpose i think he like kicked him like it wasn't like an act i mean i don't think he like meant to unalive him but i think he like purposely was trying to like injure him right because how why else would you kick your leg up with the blade oh yeah go to jail 
I wonder if he did. I wonder if he did I go to jail. I feel like I saw a video of that, him going to jail. Okay, yeah. Okay. Because I feel like it was definitely intentional, and I feel like you're not supposed to do that when playing hockey. Yeah, no, don't kick someone With a blade, which you don't even think about. Actually, I don't think about blades being, like, crazy. Because I used to have the ones with, like, the rubber on it. You know what I mean? <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I don't know if that was, like, a safety thing or what. Oh, yeah, but... you yeah, you take that off when you get on the ice. Oh. <laughs> Wait. <did> you... <laughs> I don't know. I might Wait, did you leave it on? <laughs> I have no idea. I just remember I had a pair of skates and had like a rubber on it. So I was like, oh, this won't hurt me. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know. I was very young when I did ice skating. How did you and move on the ice? <laughs> Maybe I didn't. <laughs> Maybe I, I did ice skate. I would do like little fish tails. I know that, but I don't remember. That's actually iconic. Yeah, it was a cute moment. I feel like it's also very Midwest to ice skate. That I feel is like it's so Midwest. Yeah. So you're good at ice skating, bowling, bowling. Love bowl- I love bowling. Did you were you a champion like a championship? No, or I go all the time with my boyfriend, and I got so good, I'd like whoop his friends like in it, Aww. and they're like these pro bowlers i'd be like yeah some oh, site okay <laughs> yeah. Slay. how did you become good at it just practicing honestly yeah practicing and like i bowl in a really weird way where i like oh <laughs> wait show it again so you don't go straight because like bowling you're supposed to go straight yeah, no i like go under and i just like kind of toss oh. it and it just goes <sighs> are you double jointed i just saw your elbow. oh wait i could do this yeah! bend my fingertips oh, and also that's weird hold on let, let me see. your elbow too looked like it was double jointed when you Ooh, oh, oh my gosh oh my god that's wild and talent party that's trick. pretty good that's the another another challenge you have <laughs> you something have so I'm many. amazing at <laughs> that's good at least you can recognize your talents you know that you have yeah. a good personality which is like thank you I think you can't even like teach someone a good personality like you just I are agree. born with it yeah that it factor that heightness like I also do think I really like uh like embody people that I'm friends with like like if I'm with somebody like I'll copy their laugh like I feel like if uh, I'm yes. gonna start copying your laugh soon like literally <laughs> I do that too I copied Holly Madison's laugh from Girls Next Level oh, the Girls Next Door I was always going like just copying her laugh I thought it was everything wait what's her laugh god I have I, I, I was doing it so naturally now I feel like I can't it's just like uh, like I don't, I don't do it anymore but like I have to hear it over and over and then I start copying yeah no my ex's laugh was like uh, 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 so I start going uh. oh my god actually that would drive me nuts it did and then I started doing it and I was like whoa that's cute though I guess he just thought you were like so funny and just like laughed hysterically I know then I broke up with him <laughs> you, oh was this the one you cheated on <laughs> Because you told your mom's so secret. I didn't actually cheat on him. I kind of just like, di- I mean, it depends how you look at it. Like, I didn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I had a crush on Emma's roommate. Okay. While me and this guy were together. Okay. And so I like broke up with him to get with her roommate. Okay. So that's not cheating. Yeah. You broke up first. Yeah. I mean, I was messaging her roommate while we were together. Oh, okay. Is, yeah. that the, is that who you were telling your mom? The secret? You were telling a secret yeah, to your mom? Yeah, I cheated. Yeah. And, and so that was the, the cheating. Yeah, and then, like, the day after we broke up, like, I hooked up with him, so. Okay. Yeah. I mean, but you're, you're, again, you're young. I feel like right. that's why young people shouldn't be in relationships in general, because right. it's like. I was just trying to have fun, and I did, and then, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> did it work out with the roommate? Did you ever date? Um, we messed around for a really long time. But and nothing then, serious. Nothing serious. Yeah. We are like, totally opposite people. Like, he's so, like, yeah, oh, man. And I'm like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just chill. Do you talk yeah. to him now? No, I haven't blocked on everything. Oh, wait. <laughs> what happened? Falling out? Oh my god, yeah, it was like a whole drama thing. He was just like making it seem like I was crazy. Like he would call me at 3 a.m. being like, Yeah, let's link. And then like I'd call him back the next morning, like, oh, you called. And he's like, What are you talking about, bro? And I'm like, ew, Yeah, like come on. That. I'm ew. not crazy, Toxic. dude. Yeah. yeah, no, I don't like that. So you're just like, I'm over it. Block yeah, him I'm everywhere. Done. Like on Good bigger for you better. For blocking him though. You have the upper hand in that situation. Literally, and I'm on hinge, so it's okay. <laughs> And Hinge is going well for you. Yeah, my London boy. So. Oh my god, that's so cute. Did you guys meet in person yet? Yeah, so this is scary. I should not do this. I know I shouldn't. Oh my gosh, okay. We hey, matched morning. on Hinge at 11 p.m. By 12 p.m., we were on the phone for two hours. The next morning, I drove to his house. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's I not mean, horrible. I didn't even know him for 12 hours, though. So. I've definitely gone within an hour. To no way. Else. Yeah, for sure. I feel like that's when I was like younger, that's what apps were for. Like, it was like, <gasps> what are you doing right now? Like, okay, come so, over. Okay. I have people come to my house. I think that's even scarier because at least. I don't know. I don't know what's scarier, We're, actually. I used to have people come to my house, like my apartment and stuff like that. I think that, I think that, ooh, I don't know, though. Because, like, you're in your apartment, so you could, like, do something, as opposed to you being there. It looks like, I don't know. See, I, don't know. I felt safe because it was, like, a dorm at a college. So, like, I had to check into yeah. security and stuff, so oh, like, it was fine. And then I ended okay. up staying the night and, like, waking up and, like, spending all the days together. So, I guess it worked out, though, because you guys are obsessed with each other. So, yeah. I guess it wasn't, like, a bad thing. <laughs> yeah. No, it worked out good. I, I like it. Do you have so. a type? Oh, my God. I wish I did. I don't know. I date. Every guy I've messed with is so polar opposite. It's, oh, like, insane. Interesting. Like, it went from SoundCloud rappers to oh. billionaires to, like... <laughs> to billionaires with to 20 Porsches. <laughs> literally. And then to, like, college kids. Wow. Well, okay. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. good. It's good. Then you don't have really... Like, you look at someone's, like, personality. Right. Yeah. And, like, I really vibe with this guy. Yeah. Like, I like your personality. After 12 hours... 
we're soulmates. At least you talked on the phone. Like there's sometimes I never even like FaceTime. So, like how would I know this person's real? I never even talked to them on the phone. Like it's that, that's See, like that's crazy. Scary. Yeah, I think back then like people didn't know about like the crazy stuff that happened. Now you hear stories on TikTok of like. And that's what I was scared of. I was like, yeah. what if he literally? And yeah, I, literally that happens. The second he got in my car, the first thing I said to him was like, "If you're gonna kill me, tell me now." <laughs> you are so me. I would say that too. I always thought people were. I'm like, this is gonna happen to me or whatever. Like no, that. I was like pulling in. I was like. I'm done. Like, <laughs> yeah. Bye, like, guys. I won't make it on the podcast. Oh, no. <laughs> That's so sad. Is he, and is he from Florida? Yeah. He goes okay. to, um, like, a college in, like, uh, St. Petersburg. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so he's, he's educated. He's, and he's, yeah, he's smart. He's going That's into cute. political science. Wow. So he's, like, smart. And how is he, like, tall? He's 20. He's, I could show you a picture. Oh. He's, like, a cutie. He looks like uh, all the TikTok boys. <gasps> right? right? He looks like a little TikToker. Yeah, totally. What were those boys called? Was it like Sway House? Sway House. Or something. It was like uh, Bryce Hall, Josh Richards. I don't know Wait, why. Is that cute? I mean, he gives me that vibe. He's so cute. Yeah. I, like, I, I love him. I love no, 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 I love his vibe. He flips it. <laughs> He's like, thanks, babe. Wow. Yeah. That was, that was a Freudian slip right there. You're like, yeah. I love him. I love his vibe. Okay. <laughs> um, speaking of like Bryce Hall, why? <laughs> Yes. Okay, just I know opinion. nothing about him. Oh, wait. But... Oh, I don't want to get in trouble. I don't know. What? I don't... We can edit it. I think he's so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, wait, wait. That was bad. Okay, wait, that we was can bad. edit it. We that was bad. It's just... not bad. That's not bad, but... <laughs> I don't know why he popped off. I get you. I get what you're saying. Yeah, there's a lot of people... I think especially with guys, sometimes you're just like, that's interesting. Like, they became so popular. Yeah. yeah. He's very one of those, like, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, or like their personality... I... There's a lot of TikTok boys. We can edit their names out, whatever. But there's a lot that I'm always like, I don't get it. I don't. Either. It's just because like, I don't he's know. cute, but I'm just like, I don't. I don't know. It's it's so crazy. I guess we're not their demographic or something. Right. But. I just think it's so crazy when people blow up strictly for being hot. Like yeah. Like Nessa Barrett when she blew, first blew up before she made music. Yeah. Like she would just make videos like being absolutely oh, stunning yeah. and like millions millions oh. like i'm like what that's another level of like beauty when you're just oh my so God. gorgeous being like, tiktok pretty is a different level of tic- yeah like, for yeah. sure i feel like that was very i don't know i don't know maybe he's more than this i don't know but like harry jowsey he's like on dancing with the stars do you know him <gasps> yeah and i'm like i don't know what he's famous for someone said he was like on a netflix show or something yeah, he was on too hot to handle yeah but i'm like is he just famous really famous now because he's good looking because like dancing with the stars Again, he's probably so nice. Obviously, not a good dancer. Yeah. He knows this, but he made it so far. He how? made it past Lele Pons. Literally, he's like how? professional. So I was like, are they just good looking? And it's true, he's tall and good looking. So I'm like, is that how they get that far? I saw him at a party and I was like, oh my God. Like, like oh my God, good. He's hot. Oh, is he's he? definitely okay, so, hot. So yeah. he's on that caliber. Yeah, yeah for he's sure. definitely good looking. So I was like, wow, he really just makes his career off being good looking. And he Which is has crazy. a good personality and stuff. But yeah, he seems really sweet. It's just so crazy. Like, I don't know how people are like, like, I have a friend named Zoe. She is like, I tell her to get TikTok. She would be like that just level or just like you have to stare like those girls that just stare at the camera just being pretty I'm like god I wish I could be I'm that like let me be you babe like <laughs> literally I feel like when they just gotta like look at the camera literally and like, it's like brand deal I'm just gonna pose with oh, it 100k in my bag like, there's a girl named you know Silvana Dave Portnoy's ex-girlfriend they just broke up oh, you haven't oh seen I've her? heard of her yeah she's another one I mean she's probably I don't know her personality but she's just like so beautiful it's like one of those girls that can literally just like stare at the camera and and it's so cr- like Addison Rae gorgeous yeah oh Addison's a little actress now and she's a I pop know, star good for her. I know I love Addison now too I've turned I full circle I was a little jealous of her too me too <laughs> me too I still am but I I'm know, like okay like, she should have been in that movie <laughs> oh for sure like, me too no my best friend wrote that movie and I was like um you're really gonna get Addison Rae apart and not me like I'm my best friend of like 18 years and I was like wow wait yeah. why didn't you I know. Wait, that's same, I'd be so same, mad. Same. He was filming in March, and he's like, "Well, we can only hire like three American actors." I'm like, "Well, I could be one of the three: Patrick Dempsey, right. Addison Rae, and me." And literally, and it would have gone <laughs> so more viral. Are you kidding me? They got picked up for a sequel. So no, this is like my best friend of so long, and I was like, "How? How? How?" Wait, have you ever been in a movie? No. <laughs> There's no way. No, there's no way. I mean, I'm not a good actor. I don't have agents. But this was my one in because he's been like my best oh friend for so God. long, and I just like and I knew I knew like Eli for a long time since I was like 18. So I was like, how am I not in this? But wait, oh my God, I'm sad now. Yeah, Thanksgiving was a fake trailer when I was 18 years old. It was a fake trailer in a Quentin Tarantino movie, and I was 18 years old when it came out. So like technically at the time I could have been like a cheerleader, but it took so long for the movie to get made. It's like the grandma now. <laughs> like, oh my God, no, yeah. I'm so sad. Yeah, it was very sad, but no, I was happy from the movie. I was hope great. you eventually get on a big screen like a movie. Because, like, I could so see it. Like, okay, if you get on it, tell him you want me to be your mom or something. <gasps> Please! Every, I'm telling you, with this show, if it actually works out, you have got to be on. Have your reality TV mom. Please! <laughs> I'll just pretend I'll be like, I actually had her at 17. 
<laughs> it's like a whole bit. Oh my oh god. Oh my god, that would be so we everything. End the, we end the series like telling the truth. Like, yeah. yeah. Uh, the whole thing is a troll. <laughs> the whole thing was lies. Oh my god, a troll show. Oh my god, that, that would, would be so cool. I feel like they never really did that. <gasps> Honestly, yeah. I See, think I that would like be. You'd be such a good person to have a reality TV show. I don't have enough like characters in my life. Like you have a lot of friends that I don't really have people like in my life. Even if it's just you. Like honestly. <laughs> it would just be just so me sitting good. in my house. <laughs> I, I don't watch. think people would watch it. Oh, they would. <laughs> I mean, I think that would be everything, but I like, I love watching reality TV. It's so fun. Do you like the Kardashians? Oh, you love hate. Like I do. I watch every episode, but especially this new one with like Tristan and stuff. Oh it my God. makes me pissed. Do you watch it? Mm-hmm. I watch it a lot. And then I'm like, just like itching. Like yeah. I'm jealous as hell. Yeah. Like, oh, well, definitely their lifestyle is crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's what I can't even be jealous of because there's no way I would obtain that status. Yeah. But um, they're gorgeous. They're beautiful. They're so skinny. I'm just like, oh God, I want to be them. But with this new like Tristan stuff, I'm just like, I'm so over it. Like he's such yeah, a. Yeah. Can we not sit here and be like, he's well, a great he dad. Cheated like five times. But. Yes. Yeah. But you're a great dad. And like, like you guys should go together. Like, like I'm trying to get Chloe and back together i'm like let's not i would be this pissed if my friends were telling yes. me no get with him that's why in your family like your mom being like get with like Mother you should be together that yeah is insane it's crazy and chloe's so beautiful so skinny so rich i'm just like what no she does not it makes me that. so mad it makes me so mad no yeah me too but i still watch it it's over now but i've been watching every episode <laughs> yeah, no. i love kim i love all of them i, just I think saw a thing that kim's like getting her own tv show or something yes with ryan murphy it, what is it about like a divorce she's gonna be a divorce lawyer yeah, all like, female firm yeah i'm like what yeah i guess because american horror story probably did so well so like i'm like but we need you to focus on Kardashians. Yeah, let's <laughs> like, keep that drama. Her and Chloe carry that show. So I feel like without them, it would be it's like, come on. nothing. Yeah, um, on TikTok, you do your secrets. You do your like, tell me something I don't know. So <gasps> yeah. can you tell us something nobody knows on here? That's so good. Okay. <laughs> so I was leaving LA one time and we had a layover in Utah. And so we get to the airport of Salt Lake City at like 2 a.m. And we're walking around and I find this like really hot guy who was really cute, right? So we end up like being on the same like waiting gate to go board the plane to Tampa. So mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, he lives in Tampa. Like this is my time to shine. <laughs> so we're sitting across from each other like in the waiting room, like kind of just looking at each other. And then he like looks at me. I look at him and I'm like, okay, I'm going to be bold. So as I'm boarding, I'm like, hey, like, here's my snap, okay? I give him my snap. He adds me. I'm on the plane. We're about to take off. And he's, like, snapping me, like, hey, how old are you? Blah, blah, blah. Like, kind of, like, talking. And then right before the plane takes off, he he snaps me. And he's like, have you ever, like, made out on a plane? And I was like, oh. I was like, no. Uh Like, I guess not. So the plane takes off. And I fall asleep. And I wake up literally, like, two hours into the flight to him, like, tapping my shoulder. He found me on the plane. And he was like, come on, come on. I was like, what is going on? I'm like, no, like, no. And he's like, come on, come on. And he ends up going to the bathroom, texting me and being like, like, come to the bathroom, like trying to like oh what God. so yeah is that real i didn't even think that was like real that people doing planes because first of all nasty second of all small like not bougie not hot there's nothing sexy about uh, that right and so nothing. i was like and i don't even know you oh my god it's a stranger you think oh it gets <laughs> Oh my God. So it's yeah. recent? Like a month ago, okay. um, two months ago. So okay. then I At least you're 18. Yeah, so I don't do it. And then the plane lands and he's like tweaking, like, we need to kiss, we need to kiss. So I get up, but I grab my tweaking? things. tweaking? You think he's on something? <laughs> Honestly, he might have been. Okay, maybe. Let's Honestly, the he, was like, he was like, we got a kiss, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he does <laughs> Guys are so nasty. When I, I think know. about this, I'm like, I'm glad I'm not 18. Well, here's a bad thing. I ended up making out with him oh. in front of every single person on the plane. Everybody's waiting for us to go. I know this is so Wait, bad. Wait, like in the bathroom or in no or in, in the front aisle? of in the aisle in front of everybody? We made out. I don't know why I did it. It was 6 a.m. I am so embarrassed. It's 6 a.m. on a flight to Tampa. Oh my god! And so in the aisle, the thing you made me thought you guys were like on something. Just like, yeah, oh I was like, what? Why did I do that? But oh then god. turns out he's like a, a Mormon, like. What a, a Mormon, twist. and what I don't think Mormons twist. are supposed to do that. <laughs> definitely like, not. Definitely not. Like to do it oh in gosh. the bathroom of a plane with a girl. Like that's not Mormon. Babe. Oh, like, the Mormons be wild in because they're so like restricted. Right. So they're like finally like oh, and he was like the wild. pastor. What? How old was he? I have like 25, 24. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess yeah. Yeah, they're young. They do missions yeah, and stuff he has, like that. Like his whole like company. He was like, I stalked his Instagram, and I was like, whoa, dude. Ah! And we never talked again. It was weird. Oh my god, was it, was it weird or did you like it? Were you like, okay, this is kind of hot, or were you like, that's weird? I liked it because it's like a really funny story. <laughs> yeah, that's a good story. Yeah, I, like so that I, was like, one. I liked it. He was a really, really bad kisser, though. Worst Wait, kiss of my mean, life. What makes a bad he was like, kisser? He was like, I was like, get away, man. Like, I've had a lot of bad kisses. Too. Maybe I'm a bad kisser. I don't know. But I've had weird kisses. I'm like, it was not it. Yeah, it was literally the worst kiss of my life. Oh, and, yeah. but it was on a plane. Do you right. remember the airline? 
Um. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> United. Oh, yes. like, no one filmed it. No one. Filmed oh my God. It. I wish. You know, people film everything. Like the girl on the plane. Like that guy right there is not real. That mother. Yeah. 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 They should have recorded that. Wouldn't I would have loved wild? that. Someone finds you on TikTok making baking out. You are with anybody? Loved it. No I was friend. with. Oh, why didn't yeah. she record it? Are she we was like, like, what's happening? I would be like, I what? Like, you were in shock. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. wild. Yeah. Wow. Pastor Mormon. Oh my God. That's wild. Never followed up with them. Never talked to him again after no, that. No, he actually texted me like, honestly, like a few weeks after, but then deleted the text. So I won't know what he ever said. Oh my, wait, what? You didn't, you just didn't look at it? Yeah, I didn't look at it. And then he I unsent it. on Snapchat. You can unsend things. Oh, yeah. That's so I was icky. like, what the hell? Yeah. And so I made a YouTube video like, title i made out with a random man on an airplane so oh, so you did a story time you got monetized off of it <laughs> yeah i didn't get that many views though so not that many people know this is so tell me something i don't no, know that's a good one that's yeah. a good one because i had no idea because i didn't see that story time that's yeah. so crazy oh that's my god <laughs> yeah that's a good one and you never did a sentence on a plane made out <laughs> oh no but <laughs> i'd it love to okay so yeah. you're just like adventurous you're just oh, up yeah. for it i'm down for everything <laughs> but now with this new guy are you like kind of like okay guys are off limits like you're not looking at any new potentials i did like stop using hinge <laughs> so yeah i like him i do he's really yeah. nice he's really nice and really like into what i do like are you texting cares. every day all day oh yeah like they're like fed up with it <laughs> yeah like we facetime this morning he's really nice okay and he plays the guitar and i love a man that can play the guitar oh no does he like sing at you like in the barbie movie where there's like the, <gasps> See, that's the thing. i love it like sing for me sm- okay, i used like, to love it i used to love it and i'm like okay it's kind of cringe that's but what everybody says yeah See, i love it like sit there and sing to me smash the guitar on yeah, my head yeah. like, i used to like that though too i used to like i had a guy that played the guitar like 24 hours a day just like everywhere at the restaurant in the car at the beach like yeah i love the talent i love it <laughs> me too yeah because yeah. i'm not like musically gifted that way so i think it's very cool yeah so yeah i want to take him to london because i'm going to london for more collabs i want to take the tour international oh, you're doing british collabs what yeah. are you doing um i really want to do abby roberts i really want to do nikki tutorials is like oh. somebody i really want to do Where's she though she's like finland or something yeah like amsterdam and i would go i oh, would okay. fly there yeah. just for that amsterdam's a vibe um yeah there's like a few people in london that i really want to have do my makeup oh my my gosh yeah. so you just travel to do this series basically absolutely like i wow. put like everything on hold for this like oh my yeah. god and are you collabing with people while you're here yeah i did jacob sartorius i've done bailey spin i have the oh. makeup artist or like company owner of the makeup brand for euphoria like the show wow yeah so that's, that's tomorrow so fun i'm excited and then dow's tomorrow and then i'm pretty sure madison monroe is oh my gosh. on the fish yeah so you have so many while you're out here yeah i do like two or one a day yeah wow so you I just try. take your makeup off in between oh my god yeah there was one time oh. i had like three people in one day and my face was just like so tired <laughs> of me and surprise your skin well you're young your skin holds it so well because like otherwise oh, i'd have like breakouts after oh, one no, application I break out so much the foundation covers it the fact that you did all this and made all this happen at 18 years old is actually insane it's unreal it really is. i <laughs> hope what? you keep your energy your spirit all of this forever because it's so like contagious infectious inspiring Thank like all you. of it yeah. and you're just such a like chill down-to-earth person and i like love that all the success like you really are in my head i would have never reached out to you because it's like so massive you're doing these massive collabs oh my gosh so trisha you're like feel, at the top of the list oh my like, god you really are <laughs> trust me i feel so honored and so inspired I'm so honored with and that. seriously like i'm just like this i feel like the sky's the limits for you i can't wait to know what stories you're gonna be in i can't Thank wait to see you. a reality show on tv <laughs> being in a movie your songs coming out i see it all happening for you, you so i much. love that you're saying by the way thank you so much for singing on my podcast thank you with for me. letting me sing and come I on the podcast love it. oh my god no singing is my favorite i'm always like can you sing and then i'll be like no no i get shy but the fact that you did it and belted it out <laughs> makes you my favorite person ever well, so. can i say thank you Trish? <laughs> thank you kayla thank you. everyone check out kayla she's on tiktok she has her series her glow up series thank you. You're gonna see on reality shows. You're gonna see her in stores, and uh, we'll karaoke real soon. Oh yeah, y'all will catch that one on YouTube. Part two. <laughs> Literally, bye, bye guys. guys. Oh, that was so cute. Oh, that was so sick. Talk show. Bye. bye. <laughs>